Hey, everybody. Whoa. Whoa, I look black and white. But hey, you, everybody. I am live. I am live. I just see the Blues just scored a goal. Unbelievable. So it's one nothing here. And Bennington will make the stop. What's up, everybody, in the chat? I got to change my thing during the first intermission. I look black and white today. Have to fix it. I have to fix it. But what's going on, everybody? How you guys doing tonight? Just got back. Lost the game today. 10-7. to But hey, it's all good. But now we're here for Game 7 with one team. We'll win the Stanley Cup tonight, ladies and gentlemen. One team will win the Stanley Cup. What is going on, Alex Sports Caesar? Let's go. Alex says, hey, here we go. QC, what up, though? And we got G-Kicks in here. Sarah's in here. Chofo's in here. Good luck, Blues. Jackson Parker, what's going on? Alex, go blue, sir. Crazy mofo. You do look black and white. I do. I just, I don't understand my camera, man. I, it looked like it went off. I, I rebooted my computer. I have to change it during the first intermission. It looks like I'm back in the 50s. Uh, bada boom, let's go blues. And there we go. Tip just wide. Wrap around Krejci trying to put it back in. And he's going to get it back to the point. Krejci gets it to McAvoy. Back to Krejci. Krejci just goes for a skate. Leaves it there for Chara. Chara takes a little snapshot on goal, but it's going to be blocked. But there's a big rebound. Good stop. And Dunn's just going to clear it out. We got 115 left to go here in the first period. And that could be icing. And it is going to be icing on the blues with 112 left to go in this first period diego says game six warriors win for kevin durant maybe uh don't forget to smash the like yeah let's go guys let's early i'm sorry my kid had a game today man he had a game today so i had to do that lovely stuff today but i'm going to fix this right now i'm going to configure my video as quickly as possible no auto focus but i don't understand why is it doing this why is it making it this way contrast color intensity no 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 all right i'll fix it in a second it's it's there but don't worry, all right. The Blues are going to pick up the puck right behind the net. Pasternak gets it back in front. Marchand trying to get the puck back to the point. Finds McAvoy. McAvoy is just going to ring it around and looks for Pasternak. Yeah, right back in front of the net. And it's going to get cleared there by O'Reilly. Gets it to the line and just out. And the Blues are going to give chase. And that might be another icing call. Nope. Rask will leave it there for Brad Marchand. Under a minute left to go here in the first period. Marchand with a nice little move in his feet. Almost offside. But Marchand gets it around the net. Finds Pasternak. Looks to get it up top no he's gonna go in he's gonna take the shots gonna be blocked by shen and it gets to the half wall and there's brad marchand at the point back slides it across and marchand takes the one-timer tip tip by bergeron good stop by bennington and bergeron gets it back to the point marchand now will take another wrist up blocked by Piarco, and he's gonna get it to the line but he's not gonna get it out Marshawn's going to get it around for Bergeron. Bergeron and Pasternak behind the net. Petrangelo and Pyarko there. Pyarko trying to slice it out. Looks for a point. Gets it back to the point. And it's going to be a one-on-two here as Jaden Schwartz will get it past the defender. Schwartz now will get it back to the point. Looks for the open man. Petrangelo shoots. Scores! Alex Petrangelo. And it is 2-0 St. Louis. Wow! Look at that! Just like that backbreaker goal for the St. Louis Blues and the Bruins are down 2 nothing early in Game 7, ladies and gentlemen. Wow! Wow! Look at that! Big 2 nothing lead! And Petrangelo was pinching in deep and he gets the goal for the Blues, ladies and gentlemen. They want it. Look at that little back pass for Petrangelo. Comes in backhand right through Rask. And the Blues, with 7.9 seconds left to go in the first period, have a 2 nothing lead. And they're just getting out. Oh, here comes the Blues again. Sunfist now will just fling it in deep into the corner. And that's going to end the first period, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Good stuff. Uh, looking like he listened to a sad song right now. Yes, Christine, I got to fix my webcam. I don't know why it does this when I'm like, why? I don't know. I'm fixing it now. I'm trying to fix it. Trying to fix it. Color intensity. Let's go. Why is it doing this? I'm doing this right now, guys. I'll get to the chat in a second. Brightness? No. No. Gain? No. Exposure? No. Why is it doing this? This is not helping. I don't like this. I don't like it. Why is it doing it? Okay, let's do the white balance balance. Whoa. Why is the webcam being so dumb today? Gain. Auto. Let's go. Uh, right light. What's that? Oh, getting there. Getting there. No. Cross that off. Cross that off. No. No. Guys, just give me a second, guys. Give me a second. I apologize for the chat. I'm trying to get myself a little... My lips are red. Jesus. 
Uh, yeah, definitely. Without being racist, huh? Oh, oh. We're getting there. We're getting there. Is it a little bit too red? We're getting there. How's that, guys? Does that look a little bit better? I think that looks a lot better, don't you think? Is that better? Let me know if that looks good. What's the score? It's 2 nothing, Tim. Tim G, it is 2 nothing. Hello, Cowboy X. Thanks for coming back to another stream, my man. Go Blues. Yes. Yo, Sir Red. Yes. Perfection. Welcome back. Better? Welcome to 2019, Sir Cardinal TV. Welcome back to Sir Cardinal TV 2019 edition. But yes, guys, just got back from my kids' game, and it is 2 nothing Blues. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, it looks like a snack. Yeah, it does. I got to shave the top, so forgot to shave today, but I'll do that later on this evening to make it look more professional. But yeah, thanks, guys, for coming in tonight, guys. Make sure you guys spike the like. Let's go. Game seven tonight. We're going to have a Stanley Cup champion tonight, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to have a Stanley Cup champion crown tonight. And right now, the Blues have a two to nothing lead. Uh, do I hear Gloria? Maybe. You might. But let's not count out these Bruins. They're good at coming back. Uh, wow. Two chances on goal, two goals. Boston, eight or night, no goals. Yep, that's the thing, Go-Getta. That's the thing. Hockey Canada. Yeah, there you go. Hi, Sir Cardinal TV. And I got the Raptors in 6-2. Hope you and F... Fox 87 can celebrate Toronto getting their championship. I know it must feel like a Dallas match. Yeah, man, this is great. This, this is a great time to be alive for Toronto fans. I am nervous about tomorrow, for sure. I can't watch the hockey game. I don't have cable, so I'm listening to you. Ah, well, thanks for coming in, Team G. Appreciate it. Yep, make myself black, but now I'm back in 2019. Uh, it's probably mad about the Raptors' loss. I'm not mad. I'm not mad at all. I'll, I will never be mad. If they lose tomorrow, I won't be mad. We have Game 7. Uh, believe the Raptors. Uh, we'll see, man. We'll see. And Looney's injured, man. He's not doing so well. He's going to play, though, I think. Uh, that must have. It looks like a snack. I just read that. Yeah, I want some St. Louis to win. Natural weapon in six. We'll find out. Uh, my kid went one for three today, MH. Uh, he got robbed of a, a double. He hit a line drop. Like, he had a great double on the line on the third base side, but they called it foul. Hit it over the uh, third base, and it bounced. The first bounce was quick because it was a hard rocket shot, and it bounced, and it went landed in fair territory. Then it went into the foul territory, and the umpire called it foul and that should have been a double and that would have scored two runs we lost 10-7 today uh but yeah he went one for three with an rbi he had a single and that one could have been a double but we lost and then our last inning we were down 10-7 with our last at bat and the first two guys got on but then the kid at second base was forced out at second but then he was called out and then he was getting up and then i guess the second baseman did something and then they called him safe and then he was still coming back to uh, the dugout because he didn't know what he was doing. He he heard out, so he started walking back, and then they tagged him out, and then they called that out, so it was one up. But then the next batter got a single, got in a run, and it was 10-8 with runners at second and third with two out, and then the kid that came up next popped it up to first, but he dove, and he made a great catch to end the game for them, and they won 10-7, to but eh, it happens, man. So my kid was a little upset with that. But he was good today. He got robbed of a double, though. Uh, Sandra Brown, hello. I told you, yes, okay. Uh, no, I want them to win in Raptor. I want them to win at Oracle. I definitely don't want to come back home. I want to have the championship tomorrow night. Uh, what's up, Triet? Thanks for coming through. Just spike the like. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Triet says, uh, happy Raptors fan, Air Canada WestJet. Okay. <laughs> I don't really fly, so I don't know. I've, now, I've only taken Air Canada once, and I think Air, uh, West Canada, uh, WestJet once, too, when I went back and forth to Edmonton once. Uh, Kevin Durant, Saturday, nobody tell him to play. He wanted to. Yeah, I've been hearing that, Cody, that he wanted to play. It's going nuts here in St. Louis watch parties. I believe it is. That's awesome. Right at the zoo and everything. That's great. I think Clay's going to get hit a game winner. Well, we'll find out tomorrow, Diego. We'll find out tomorrow. Make you so twight. Ah, I know. I try, MH. I try to have that youth look all the time. I have a d double team, Clay Thompson. I think so. I think so. I think they have to double Clay for sure. Relax, rap, Raps lost by one point. Yeah, plus if Durant didn't play, those are 11 points gone off the board. Who knows what would happen? Plus, if they didn't hit 20 of 42 th uh, three-point attempts in game five, that could have been a telltale. If they would have got half of those, say they got like 10 out of 22, that's how many points? Uh, 10 threes if they would have hit 10 or 14? That's like significant amount less, and the Raptors only lost by one. So if they hit less threes, and if Kevin Durant didn't play... Probably the Raptors were winning the championship on the other day, but that's okay, man. It's all good. It's all good. Philip Lindsay says, how many periods are there? There's three plus overtime. If there is overtime and it's 
continuous overtime. It's not going to end after five minutes or anything like that. They play full periods of overtime in playoffs, and the first team that scores in the overtime will win. And today's Game 7. Wouldn't that be something if they went to overtime for Game 7? Ooh, my Cinderella story. I clinched the game. You clinched the game. All right, right, Colby's going to say crazy if we lost. Out of sports was good. Why is Barkley on my TV? Yeah, he's there tonight. I'm not, uh, I'm not watching on NBC. I'm watching on the Canadian channel, but I heard he was there today. I heard he was there today. I would love I love Sir Charles, though. I, he was in my video, man. That was awesome. That was awesome. Alex Sports, Valerix retracted the message. Kevin Durant said, set today. Nobody tell him to fight. He wanted to. Okay, Raptors got to end it. Yeah, they don't have to end it, but I would prefer they win tomorrow. Because if they come back up here, it's going to be crazy. And that could be that could be an amazing experience just because they have to go on the road again. But they've already taken two games here, so I don't know. It should be a good game no matter what. Kyle Bush Fan 18. Hello, 2 nothing Blues. Well, welcome, Kyle Bush Fan 18. 2 nothing Blues. How are you doing? Thanks for coming through. In the playoffs. 3-3 overtime. Hmm? I don't know, man. That would be crazy. That would be super crazy if they went to overtime. Holy hell. I had a tea here from yesterday. Does that taste good? That tastes a little bit spoiled. Raptors in six. I hope so. Yeah, L Lakers. I didn't know. Uh, I didn't know he wanted to go there, but I heard that he got a new agent. Some like it sounds like a rap label. No, that's spoiled. That's got to go in the garbage. That doesn't taste good. I'll be right back. I got to get my other tea. Where is it though? I thought I had it. All right, give me a second. Uh, you want overtime? Yeah, man. I, I I don't know about overtime, but yeah, a lot of people do. But that would be cool if it did. But I prefer no. But yeah, be right back. Where the hell did my tea go? Where did my tea go? I knock it over? I think it did. Where did I put it? I don't understand. Where did it go? Where did that tea go? I got my earlier one before I went to the kids game. I had one, like a half of one. So I'm drinking that, but I had a full one. Oh, stupid me. It's right there. God damn. Okay. It's right there. Uh, you can't wait for tomorrow, Valix. I have me neither, man. Oh, man. Miss Nowhere. I don't know about that. I don't like the game sevens, man. <laughs> I don't know. I found it. <laughs> I found it. I found it. I find the tea. Tea is life. I found my other one just before I went to his game. There was one that I didn't finish, but yeah. I got two here now. Uh, I uh, Yeah, Clay. He, I think he, they got to play better three-point defense for sure. Go get it tomorrow. Yeah, great stream. Just hanging out there watching the, the two uh, players on the screen in the Stanley Cup, Ray. Of course, but I had to find my tea, man. That was an issue. I needed that. Uh, Cardinals and tea go together. Yeah, but it's just, come on, man. It was right there, right in front of me, and I thought I didn't have it. Then I drank one that was probably from yesterday, but it's uh, mm, a little stale. Not stale, but a little, I guess the milk inside the tr a tea was kind of starting to go bad, so I got to empty that and dump it out. But yes, uh, mixing basketball and hockey together is like eating pizzas and hamburgers together. That would be good. Pizza hamburger. Yeah, a hamburger pizza. Boogie scored a bunch of points. That was the problem. Game five. Nah, he didn't really do too much. He did at the beginning of the game, but he's kind of quiet. But now we'll see what he does in this game too, because they're going to have to lean on him heavily in game six. And plus you got Bogut. And if Looney's not feeling the greatest, who knows? I'm going to meet Brandon Ingram. In about Nice, Diego. That's awesome. He might be a Pelican by the time you meet him. Rockstar Blue Aqua. Never had Rockstar. I don't drink energy drink, guys. Would you believe that if I told you that? I don't drink energy drinks. 
Never had one. Who you got in this game? Well, I, I picked the Blues to win the series. Uh, but they're winning 2 nothing right now. It's not like I'm a bandwagon or just said they were. Before the series started, I said they would win in six. So I kind of want a Western Conference team just because my team that I root for uh, every day is in the Western Conference. And I'm more of a West guy than an East guy. I'm a West Side boy. I think Siakam will have a good game. Yeah, he needs to have a better game, Poppy Chulo, for sure. He was kind of quiet, and Rocho was telling me he missed the last eight minutes of the game, which is weird. I didn't realize that. Yo, who's winning? St. Louis is winning. Two to nothing. Two to nothing. Yeah, well, Kyle Busch, I picked him to win the series. That's why I took them. And it will be their first championship ever in St. Louis, so that would be pretty huge. And plus, everyone doesn't want Boston to keep winning every title because they were very, very close. And there was a guy who made a huge bet uh, to pick all Boston teams, the Red Sox, uh, the Patriots, uh, the Celtics. That's the only team he got wrong. But, oh, man, crazy. Curry and Clay will combine for 50. Oh, man, I don't want to see that Iverson vlogs. But, hey, they, they were pretty close to that number in game five. And I expect them both to be going off. But they need to defend the three-point line a little bit better. Guys, share the stream out if you can. If you guys have Twitter or Instagram or whatever, just share the stream out with anybody who wants it because we need to get some people in here tonight, guys. We got to get some people in here. It's game seven of the Stanley Cup Finals. Post it in a, a chat, wherever, hockey, forum, something. Tell them to come on by. Tell them to come on by. Uh, Draymond was lucky last game. Yeah, well, apparently, go get a. Uh, I was told, too, if he gets another technical foul, if he gets one more technical foul, if, well, tomorrow. If he gets a technical tomorrow, he misses game seven. So I think he will be in check tomorrow. But I don't know, man. That guy gets super hyped up. But I think uh, Kerr and company are, are going to tell him, hey, if there's a call against you, just shut up and just turn around. Don't cause a scene. Don't get upset with the call. Because if you get teed up, you're gone for game seven. He will be gone from game seven. Uh, nope. I wouldn't have MH. I probably would have been screaming. Probably would have been screaming. Uh, provoke, yeah, that's a thing, man. Someone was telling me, like, oh, like Draymond Green was having a great uh, series against uh, the Blazers, saying, hell, he was getting the triple doubles. But I was like, you know what? I, I was saying, somebody told me at work, he's like, yeah, just to get Draymond off his game, just step on his toe. He'll get mad at you and he'll go throw a fit. So far, he's thrown a fit twice in this series. So, hey, he could be easily agitated. So we'll see. Hey man, are you gonna be live tomorrow? I will be. It's in Golden State, Rico, so I will be live tomorrow. Should be live tomorrow. But I'm uh, yeah, should be live tomorrow. But Game Seven, no, don't think I will be going. Maybe outside the building if there's a championship one. If there is a Game Seven, I'll be outside celebrating. There will be no live reaction from inside the building, sir. If it goes seven, I think Golden State pulls it out out because Green and Kawhi are the only experience on wraps. Okay, well. That's your opinion. We'll find out. That's why they play the games, man. You you can make all these predictions all you want. So far, a lot of people have been wrong. And myself included. I didn't think the Raptors would be that great in this final. Just because of how it was. But, oh, man, it's pouring in St. Louis. But they're still there watching the game. But, yeah, I thought the Raptors... I was just happy they were there. I didn't think they were going to be that great. But uh, it's all good. How can I be the man when you're the man? Uh, Kyle Winfrey says, what's up? What's up with you, Kyle Winfrey? How you doing? Thanks for coming through. I'd like to see the Raptors win. Yeah, that would be great. You know, it totally would. Yeah, it's all good, Rico. No problem. No problem. I think it will be a Game 7 Raptors against Well, well Zeta, that's what everyone's hoping for. All the Golden State Warrior fans, every fan that's not a Golden State Warrior fan that's just there for the, uh, the finals and rooting on uh, the finals, everyone wants a Game 7. Bleed green. Bro, it's hyped. Yeah, man. Of course. You're the OG. No, you're the OG. You're at the game. Bleed blue, green is at the game. You should have your name bleed blue because that's part of the St. Louis Blues, man. But uh, <laughs> you're a Bruins fan. I forgot. Never mind. Forget it. Crazy, man. Your fans better be respectful today, man. No more fighting on fighting. No fighting with your, each team, man. I saw that in game five when you guys lost. You guys had uh, two fans were fighting each other that were Boston Bruins fans. It's crazy. And then they had Stone Cold Steve. Uh, Stone Cold Steve. Oh my God! Speak English. Stone Cold Steve Austin theme music playing in the background. It was hilarious. I thought somebody added that to that fight, but no, it was actually playing in the background. So that was pretty funny. Ah, uh, you don't hate me, man. I'm just playing with you. It's all good. Try to get back in this game. Let's get it to overtime. I want a good. I want to do some extra hockey since I missed most of that first. Yeah, crazy. Let's see. Yeah, will they leave early again like they did? Those those fans, I don't know why they leave early, but yeah. 
Where are you at, Colby? I don't know where Colby is. He's pro Oh, there he is. It's all about to rain here. Yeah, I saw it just at the Bush Stadium. It's pouring there. Don't count out. I'm not counting him out. Definitely not. I hope the rest will be good. Yeah, I, I wonder who's refing tomorrow. I wonder who's refing tomorrow. Does anyone know who's refing? What's up, Daniel Wheeland? How you doing? Dan Rex. What's good, Zane? How you doing? Thanks for coming through. What's your prediction? I want the Raptors to win tomorrow. <laughs> of course. I want them. To, I'd rather get it done quicker than going to Sunday. But that's Father's Day. That could be a hell of a Father's Day gift. If the Raptors go to Game 7 and win that, that would be pretty huge. Close to St. Louis. Sir Sexy. Yeah. Sexy and I um, know it. I'm in St. Charles area. Nice. Hi, Bruce Davis. I'm doing okay. I feel for my son. He was a little upset today because they lost their game, but he did okay. He was great behind the plate today. He was a great catcher today. Almost wrote four or five runners. Almost had a pick off at first. Yeah, almost another rundown, but the kid missed it at third base. But he did pretty good today. Just his hitting needs a little bit more work. This is the lesser league he's in. He's in the Pee Wee Select, but he plays Bantam Select too. Or not? Yeah, is it Bantam? Yeah, Bantam Select as well. So he's playing with kids that are 14 and 15 year olds, and he's doing great. He is doing great in that. But uh, Pee Wee, it's slower, but he should be killing it, and he's not yet. So he's only got the one hit in two games because of all the freaking rain games that we've had. So that is sad, but he's good, though. I hope he's okay. Coyotes win. Uh, 2025 Stanley Cup Finals. Hopefully it's Edmonton. Hopefully. Coyotes. Eh. Goddamn Coyotes. That's awesome, man. That's good, Daniel. That's all good. I'm a Pred, so I don't have to dig in this fight. Just love Yeah, good. Me too, man. Me too. Michael Delzato and Alex Petrangelo played together. Nice. In, like, minor... That is cool. You're some play yeah, he's great ball player, Bruce Davis. He's a great little ball player. Uh, I wish he would. He doesn't post very much stuff. He only posts it on his Instagram. Mom posts his stuff to his Instagram. I wish he would upload it to his channel, but I think mom might do that this year. Put everything put together and post it on his YouTube channel. All right, we're getting ready to start the second period, guys. Let's go. That was a quick intermission. Draft is on the 21st. Yes, it is, Crazy Mofo. I will be live for that. I will be live for the NHL draft. Thursday, unfortunately, I will not be able to do the NBA draft. I got to work it unless the guy tells me to not come in. All right, I got a 10-second delay here, man. This stinks, and I'm watching this game live. All right, first, second period, underwear, and let's go. Who tips it in? Heinen will give it off to Coyle in the corner, but they go behind the net, and Pyarko will swing it across for Sheen. Sheen. I was going to say Charlie Sheen. Steen gives it off to Boomeister. Up the wing and just gets outside the line, and Char now will backhand it in. Delayed offside, but there's Barbashev. We'll pick it up for the Blues. Hands it off to Pyarko, and he's going to go on the right side. Up the wing, down the middle. It's going to be touched by Steen. Steen comes in. Nice little move, but McAvoy comes back and steals the puck. Charlie McAvoy for the Bruins will chip it off the boards to center, and there's Johansson, can't get the puck, but there's the Blues. Tarasenko, Vladimir Tarasenko into the Bruins territory. Shot tipped into the netting, face off in Boston territory. Uh, you umpire? Yeah, my kid umpires too. He's got a little job now. He umpires games when he doesn't play or practices. I'm mad I'm going to be gone. Yeah, man, that stinks, QC, but you know what? Just if you can get on YouTube and watch one of the Sports Fury, whoever, Chris the Entertainer, I'm pretty sure all those guys just come on to YouTube. I'm going to miss it too. I'm kind of sad by it because I was going to do that as well. Face off one by the Blues, but the Bruins will come out with the puck. Brad Marchand on the left hand side trying to get it in deep. Can't. Gets it back into Boston territory. And there Schwartz goes against. Uh, who's number 25? I forget that guy's name. Carlo. That's it. Yes. But it goes right back to the line. Shen will keep it in. Tarasenko trying to flick it in deep. Schwartz now will just get it to the end. And here comes... Oh, what's that guy's name again? Carlo. Gotta remember. Carlo is number 35. Carlo, now, 25, 25. Here comes Carlo now on the left-hand side. He's just going to dump it in deep. And Bennington's trying to keep it in, and he can't. Marshawn will leave it there for Pasternak. Right through the crease, looking for Bergeron. Look, a fake pass by Moore. And here comes Moore on the side angle. Shot blocked by Petrangelo. Moore gets another shot close in deep. That's tipped by... Pasternak gets it back to the point for more. More now walks the line, gets a little point shot out in front, back to Pasternak. Wait into the defenseman, and it's going to be blocked. And there is Gunnarsson. We'll pick it up for the Blues. Gunnarsson now up to center, hands it off to the left hand side. And Petrangelo is just going to wrap it in. Line change coming for the Blues. Chipped in deep, and there's David Krejci. David Krejci up the wall to number 63. Is that Heinen? No, that's someone else. Kule? I can't even remember. I don't. Oh, yeah, maybe it's that other kid. Anyway, 
And it's Charo right at center. He's just going to get it into St. Louis territory. Up to the half wall to the center. Perron now with Krejci on the sidewall. Can't find out who that is. Kuhlman. Kuhlman. That's it. Kuhlman. And there's a little pause here. What happened to my TV? All right. Never mind. McAvoy will get it up to center. And there's Curley. Curley now comes into St. Louis territory. And he just gives a little backhand caught by Bennington. And there's going to be a faceoff. Blay got pushed into the goalie by Jake DeBrusk. Blues are a good road team. Yes, they are. They're way better than at home. Their record on home ice during these NHL playoffs were 6-7. and seven. Second period, yeah. Uh, face-off, God. Yeah, he's a great face-off guy, but he's a good point producer. Just pretty quiet. Just pretty quiet. He's got some points. All right, Barbashev against Coyle in the face-off. 17-38 left to go in the second period. St. Louis wins the draw. Edmondson will give it off to Petrangelo off the wall. Barbashev will give chase. Good stick check there by Barbashev. Gets it back to Petrangelo. Gets it off to center, uh, center and Barbashev will try to get it across crease. McAvoy with a silly play, but there's Johansson now. Loses it. Coyle will pick it up, and he's met there by Sunkfist, but it's going to get to the line, and Heinen just gets it out. Petrangelo. Uh, Barbashev will flip it back in, and McAvoy will give chase, and there's Sunkfist. Sunkfist takes him off the puck, but he gets it around. And he's going to shoot it off the wall to Yo Hansen. Here comes Yo Hansen for the Bruins into St. Louis territory. Flicks it in and he gives Chase himself. He's going to get there behind the net. He's going to bring it back up to the sidewall for Heinen. Heinen now gets it down low for Coyle. Coyle now will pick it up. Charlie Coyle now leaves it there for Carlo, but he mishandles it. And Carlo will get it behind the net for Heinen. Heinen now right in front of the crease, but nobody there. And it gets right to the line, but it's kept in. And it's going to be wrapped around. Johansson can't get to the loose puck. And it's going to be chipped out by Tarasenko. But it's going to get to the line. Bruins keep the puck in. And here comes Johansson now. Johansson slides it across. But nobody there for the Bruins. And Carlo can't keep the puck in. And he's going to wrap it back in. Fans on his attempt. And that's a delayed offside here. Oh, nope. Never mind. They tagged up. And there's Pyarco now for the Blues. Gets it up to the right-hand side into Boston territory. Rask will leave it. And there's Carlo loses it. There's O'Reilly trying to do a backhand pass right behind the net, but it comes right out to center. And here comes the Bruins. David Pasternak between the legs takes a backhand shot. Stopped by Bennington. Hangs on. Wow, what a move by Pasternak. Little toe drag. All right. Hey, how you doing? Just pop in and need to upload. All right, you have a good night too. Thanks for coming in. I like the vodka advertisement on the boards. Yeah, pretty cool, I guess. What's up? I'm in Nags Head. Good luck for your Raptors tomorrow. Thank you, Uso. Us is in the building. 21 points in elimination game. Second most in franchise history. Wow, David Pasternak. Unreal. Nice little stat there. Krejci versus O'Reilly. And Krejci will win the draw, but is going to go right to O'Reilly. So O'Reilly will just go for a skate behind his own net. Comes out with the puck. He's going to bring it up on the left-hand side. Finds Sanford. Sanford now gets it to the Bruins' blue line. Flip to center. And there's Coleman now. Coleman, Coolman will just dump it in. But he's not going to get by Petrangelo. Slides across for Edmondson. And he's going to find Sanford, who just chips it in deep. Ryan O'Reilly will give chase against Krug. Bumped off the puck. There's Ryan O'Reilly. The big horse behind the net. Gets bumped off the puck. Sanford now will give chase. And Jake Jabrosk bumped off the puck. But he gets back to the point. Petrangelo will wrap it around for Sanford in his skates. Bumped off the puck by Krug. And McAvoy will pick it up. And he's going to flip it up to center. And there is the Bruins. Jake Jabrosk comes wheeling in. He slips, falls, takes a shot. But it's going to be blocked by Pyarco. And Maroon now for the Blues will get it to the line. And here comes Pyarco. The defenseman with the puck, he's going to flip it in deep. That's going to be offside. That's going to be offside. Nope, it is not. Moore will pick it up, and here comes Moore for the Bruins. 15.04 left to go here. Second period, 2-0 St. Louis, and he's just going to chip it in deep. And the Blues, Vince Dunn will get it off to center right to the line. There's Maroon. Maroon slides it across for Blake. Takes the wrist shot. Stopped by Rask, and he hangs on. No rebound. Face off coming in deep. Boston territory. Cool. Chat's kind of quiet tonight. You guys are kind of quiet. All right, have your say. Battle is back. What is this? Battle of the Blades? Oh, wow. That's coming back. They have a figure skating show with, like, uh, celebrities and actual figure skaters. It used to be a show back maybe six, seven years ago, maybe even ten. It's called Battle of the Blades. And they it would be a weekly episode, and they would do competitions and stuff like that, and they would crown a winner. That's coming back. That's pretty cool. I like that show back in the day because we is dead. I guess so. All right. Shen loses the draw. 
to Curle, and he's going to wrap it around for Chara. Chara now on the right, left side will just get it off the wall, looking for Nordstrom, and it gets right to Vince Dunn, but he's going to lose the puck. Nordstrom, that's going to be offside. That's going to be offside on the Bruins. Just offside was a carry. Curle. Shots on goal are 15 to 5 in favor of Boston, ladies and gentlemen. 15 to 5. Come on, Blues. What's up, Jonathan Davis? Thanks for coming through. Make sure you guys hit that like button for me. It would be greatly appreciated if you guys did. Coyle now in the skates with Sunfist. Oh, he's tripped up, but there's going to be no call on the Bruins. That was like blatant trip. And he's going to flip it into Boston territory, and that's going to be icing on the Blues. Oh, that was a pretty close call to being a trip there at the faceoff. Yes, Bruins got a score. I want a dramatic game. Don't we all? But I kind of want this to hold up. Even though I wouldn't mind doing an overtime. That would be epic. And uh, after this game's over, guys, I'm not going to leave right away. I'm going to hang out and watch the Stanley Cup presentation. So we're going to be around watching it. I will be, but that's when probably everyone's going to take off. But I'm still going to be live. I'm still going to be alive. All right, face off at center, and the Bruins will pick it up. Krug is just going to wrap it in deep. Bennington will leave it there for Boomeister. Boomeister will go behind the net with Pyarco, trying to get it up to the line. There's Boomeister to help alleviate that, but it's now on the sidewall. There's a big scrum on the sidewall. They're not moving the puck. Move the puck! And there's Johansson. Now he wraps it around back to the point, and Carlo will keep it in. He's going to swing it across for Johansson, but it left there for Heinen. Heinen now with the puck at the point, gives it off to Krug. Krug down low for Coyle. Coyle trying to slide it across. Can't get it across. And Pyarko is just going to flip it out to center. Hits his own player, Sunkfist. And Sunkfist will chip it off the wall and finds the open man. There is, oh, so close. Steen had a point blank shot. But there's Petrangelo. Takes a wrist shot. Stopped by Raskino. Rebound. Barbashev was right in front of the net. And Carlo just gave him a little love shot saying, get out of the crease. Still 2 nothing. What's up, Adrian the Lit? Welcome back, man. Black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow. Boston, let's make a comeback. Yeah. When did the Blues score? I missed about 10 minutes. I missed about the whole first period. <coughs> and right before I went live, I was setting up the stream. I saw uh, Ryan O'Reilly score. And then I came back on with about five minutes left. And then they scored with 7.9 seconds to end the first period. Uh, Alex Petrangelo made it 2 nothing with 7.9 seconds left to go in the first period. So they're up 2 nothing right now, my man. They're up 2 nothing. Commercial right now. But yeah, shots on goal, 15-6. to six. Boston with the advantage, but Jordan Bennington looking like a boss in net. And why is my webcam always doing this? Why am I like, okay, I see I'm good there, but on my YouTube, okay, never mind. Though. Yeah, this picture I'm using tonight is pretty cool. It has the Stanley Cup. It's an actual photograph, I guess, from I don't know when, but yeah, I took this picture, used it, and I just added transparent images of Tarasenko and Brad Marchand here. And that was it. That's how I did my stream tonight. Very basic. But hey, it has the Stanley Cup here. So that's cool. Benny is amazing. Yes, he can be when he wants to be. He could be like Patrick Waugh, ladies and gentlemen, from 1986. Came halfway through the season and wins the Stanley Cup in his first year. Patrick Waugh did that back in 1986. Before a lot of you were born. I was alive. I was eight years old. Tarasenko is a G. But yeah thanks for coming through tonight guys this is uh i'm glad i get to at least call most of this game i missed the first period for a little bit but hey it is all good yeah <laughs> that's crazy that's crazy i'm just looking at other streams hot take hockey killing it tonight killing it almost 400 people man that's a big time hockey channel man hot take hockey god damn vince dunn's cuz is back ron dunn Ooh, yeah they were looking at that goal from last game okay never mind uh yeah what a great day for hockey thomas indeed welcome thomas you must be new to the channel are you from europe where are you from my man sounds like a swiss name or maybe swedish or finnish all right, Dunn's is going to wrap it around the net for Schwartz, and he's going to get it back to Shen. Shen now gets it to the point for uh, Dunn, who's just going to wrap it around again, and that's going to be a face-off in Boston Terry that went into the netting. 
Oh, yeah, you know, I got a green screen, Dan. Unfortunately, yeah, I had to get a little bit better. I wanted a little bit better, better presentation, you know? Awesome, D. Have a great day. Thanks. You too, man. What's up, Cushman? How you doing there? Good, sir. Baby name Stanley, I will make tonight. Yes, you will. There you go, Ron Dunn. All right, Shen will wrap it around. And nobody there for the Blues. And McAvoy will pick up the loose puck. And he's going to get pressured off the puck. But there's Chara to save him. Chara now will flip it up to the line and gets it out. And here comes Bergeron. We'll just get it in deep. Pyarko will get it to center. And McAvoy will pick it up for the Bruins. Off to the left side for Bergeron. Bergeron looking to make a play at the line. It's out. Tarasenko will pick it up. And he's bumped off the puck is Schwartz. And there's Brad Marchand now with the puck. Gets it up to the left side. Tipped in by... The Bruins, and here comes Bergeron. Bergeron pushed off the puck by Boomeister. Boomeister. And Tarasenko will get it to the line, and there's Petra, or David Perron. Perron now with the move, gets it off to the right side for O'Reilly. O'Reilly backhand pass right through the crease, and Sanford can't get to it, but Sanford will keep it puck in deep. Perron now will get it back to Sanford. Sanford now, nice little move by Carlo. Sanford looking to make a play, trying to get it down low, does, finds Perron. He comes right into the crease, looking for a play, gets it back to the point for Petra Angelo. Petrangelo now waits, gets it to the right side for Perron. Perron now will get it down low for Sanford. Sanford now bumped off the puck by Krug. Krug's going to get there, but there's Edmondson pinching, and he's going to flip it off the wall, get it out to center into St. Louis territory, and Petrangelo is going to bring it up. There's line changes coming for the Bruins, and Bozak will leave it, and that's not going to be touched, and that's going to be icing on the Blues. Yeah. When can school freaking oh school freaking end? Well, how much longer do you have, my man? Call Cowboys Longhorns. Let's go Bruins. Welcome. Yeah, from Europe. Czech. Oh, okay, you're from the Czech Republic. That is awesome. So I guess you're a big Yarmar Yager fan. Sup, pro gamer. Thanks for coming through. I was here during the trade deadline. Oh wow, it's been a while then. Well, welcome back. Thank you, pro gamer. Appreciate it. All right, we're back to the game. 12-10 left to go here in the second period. 2 nothing Blue Steel. Moore now has trouble handling it. Gets it off to center. There's Bozak. We'll flip it in. And Moore will pick it up for the Bruins. Gives it off to Heinen. Is that Heinen? I think so. The forward playing behind the net. Gives it off to DeBrusque. DeBrusque now gets it down low for Kuhlman. And Maroon's going to get it up to Sammy Blay. Sammy Blay now will just chip and chase. And Maroon's giving chase. And Chara will go after it. There's Chara and Maroon behind the net doing battle with McAvoy and Blay. Looking to get this puck as Maroon gets it out in front. Nobody there. But there is Sungfist. Gets it back to the point for Dunn. Dunn's going to wrap it around for Maroon. Maroon's going to get it. And he's going to get it right in front. But nobody there. And here comes DeBrusque. DeBrusque will get it off to center. Off to Krejci. Who's going to flip it in. And DeBrusque will give chase. But Dunn will pick it up for the Blues. Dunn backhand pass along the wall. Finds Pyarko. Pyarko now looks to make a play. He's behind the net. Setting up the offense. 11-11 left to go. Pyarko. Slap pass up off the wall. That's going to be too strong. Not tipped in. That might be icing against the Blues. And it is. 11.03 left to go. What's up, William Pete? Pass my car theory test. Good job. Congratulations. They are having a watch party. Yes, Sarah. We spoke about that at the beginning. Yes, Blues are road worries. Yeah. I don't know what their road record is, but I know it's a lot better. I got a question card. Will you be doing... It's possible, Daniel. It's possible. Uh, I'm excited, but it's the job's not done yet, William Pete. The job's not done. Yeah, JJ6 is still playing. Is he playing in Czech Republic? Okay, cool. I just don't think he should have came back to the NHL. It just was a little bit too late. But he was a great NHL player, man. Definite Hall of Famer. Blues lose the draw. Krug will get it into the slot, but Sunfist is going to pick it up. And here comes Barbashev. Barbashev will try to get it in deep. Can't. The Bruins will pick it up. Heinen now will... Shield it and get a backhand pass behind the net for Johansson. Back up top for Coyle, but he's going to be bumped off the puck by Dunn, who gets it to center, and there's Sunkfist. And here comes Barbashev. Barbashev, one-on-one, -on -one, slides it across, looking for Pyarko. Pyarko pinching heavily. Got to get back on defense. There's Charlie Coyle now for the Bruins. Comes out with a 10.30 left to go here at the second period. Heinen will pick it up on the right-hand side. Heinen looking to make a play. Buttonhooks gets it back to the point. 
And McAvoy will get it back to Heinen. Heinen now, two blues converge on him in the corner. And there's Petrangelo will pick it up for the blues. He'll go for a skate. Now he's going to come up with some speed. Gets it off to the Tarasenko, who's just going to chip it in. And Tarasenko will not bother going after it. McAvoy will pick up the loose puck. He gets it up to the left side, right side. And here comes Curley, who's just going to lose the puck. And here comes the blues. Schwartz now slides it across for Tarasenko. Or Shen. And he puts it. And is that it? No. Almost. Shen almost put that in. Oh, almost again. Open net there, but the Blues can't capitalize. Shen now looking to get it back to the points. Finds Boomeister. Slot pass for Pyarko. Blocked heavily by Akari. And here comes David Perron. Pinches it down low, but he's going to lose it to Chara. And here comes Perron now. Perron right in the middle. Backhand. Do something, Perron. You had an open guy. Let's go, Perron. Back to the point. Finds Pyarko. Little slot pass, but it's going to be picked off by... Curley and Curley is going to get it to the right side and here comes I don't know Akari and he's going to slide it through the crease nobody there but there's Ryan O'Reilly comes up on the right wing with some speed looks to get it back to Sanford takes a shot steer aside by Rask back behind the net O'Reilly will pick it up he's bumped but there is Sanford Sanford now for the Blues looks to make a play wraps it around behind the net finds O'Reilly O'Reilly leaves it or sorry Sanford or Steen wow why is he there where was that well right for Steen little high shot sticked aside by Rask Petrangelo takes a shot blocked there by the Bruins defender and he gets it off to Brad Marchand one on one against Gunnarsson Brad Marchand looks to make a move comes into this crease looking for Pasternak can't get the shot on goal and he's going to lose the puck but there's Pasternak oh he's bumped off the puck and there is Gunnarsson will get it off to Petrangelo, and Petrangelo will come in and just get it into Barbashev, and Sunkfist will go against Carlo. Sunkfist, little nudge, gets him out of the way, gets it off the half wall and gets it to center, and Pyarko now will come back for the Blues in Blues territory. 8.20 left to go. Pressure there by Bergeron. Nice move by Pyarko. Gets it off the wall and out. Gets it to center, and they're going to flip it in. Sammy Blade will. Blues will make a change. Krug will pick it up for the Bruins up on the left-hand side, looking to get Marshawn the puck, can't get it, and there is Edmondson, swings it across for Sanford, off the wall, in, and Bozak can't get the puck, but the Blues will bring the puck in, Blay trying to get it in deep, can't get by Krug, and that's going to be kept in, and there's the Blues, here comes Maroon, behind the net, Patrick Maroon looks to get it in front for Blay, but he can't get him the puck, and there is Kuhlman, who will get it off to Krejci, Krejci now at center, comes into St. Louis territory, Krejci up the middle, picked off by the Blues defender and shot to center. And the Blues are going to have to, or the Bruins are going to have to regroup. Here comes Kuhlman with some speed, gets by Edmondson. He takes a little shot that's wide. DeBrus now will take another shot, stopped by Bennington. Big rebound, and there is Vladimir Tarasenko. Tarasenko will chip, and there goes Schwartz. Will give chase with the Boston defender behind the net. There's two Blues back there, and there is the defender for. The Bruins, and this looks like a new guy, number 40. I don't know who that is. DeBrusque now will give it off to Tarasenko. He's just going to get it in deep. Shen will give chase. Rask looks to play the puck. Rask will leave it there for his defender. And here comes Heinen. Heinen now. Nope, that's number 48. I don't know who that is. And shot right on goal, but Bennington will make the stop, and he's going to steer it across. That's right in the feet of Shen. Shen now is going to have to flip it up and just gets it out. And delayed offside, but there comes the Blues. Vince Dunn. Here is Vince Dunn into Boston territory. Nice little move. Shot wide. And Coyle will pick up the loose puck half wall. Sorry, guys. I can't read the chat if you're talking too much play by play. We got 640 left to go. O'Reilly loses the puck at center. And Vince will just wrap it in. Done. Ooh, we got a big hit on the on the bench. But there's O'Reilly now. We'll give Chase Carlos there. But O'Reilly will get there first. O'Reilly trying to get it behind the net. Can't. And it's going to be flipped up. And that's going to be right on to Bennington. Bennington now will make a play. And he's going to leave it there for Boo Meister. Boo Meister now will... Make a play. Get it up to the line. Camp Bergeron's going to steal it. Here comes Marshawn now. Brad Marshawn takes a little snapshot. Gloved by Bennington. Held on. 6-11 left to go. Second period still. 2-0 Blues. I don't know, William. Not the guy to ask. Tomorrow's the last game home. They're getting a new stadium. Yep. Uh, who's dating Mr. Con Smythe tonight? That's a great question. Who do you think? Um, I don't even know who's leading the points. I don't even know who's leading the points. Hank the Tank, yeah. Maybe Bennington. Maybe Bennington. This game is insane. It's quick, man. It's quick. Blues had a great chance to score. Uh, stats. Let's see these stats. Let's see if there's any playoff stats. Yeah, there we go. Brad Marchand right now, 23 goals. No, that's points. All right, Brad Marchand has 23 points leading leading uh, the NHL in the playoffs. And then O'Reilly. Maybe it might be O'Reilly, guys. 
it might be O'Reilly. I'm just looking. Assists, game-winning goals, McKinnon, Duchesne. Uh, maybe Tarasenko, too. He's right there. He's tied for, or he's third place. Schwartz has got 12. O'Reilly's there. Uh, I'm going to say either, if St. Louis wins, it's going to be either O'Reilly or Bennington. Yeah. Well, 22 now, actually. So Brad Marchand has 23. I think O'Reilly has 21, if not 22, if he didn't get credited with that second or with that point tonight in tonight's game. He's one behind Brad Marchand. But right now, I'm going to say either O'Reilly for St. Louis or Bennington. And then if it's the Bruins that win tonight, it's possible Brad Marchand might win the Conn Smythe. That wouldn't that be something? I'm a Dallas Stars fan. I think we did well this season. Yeah, if St. Louis wins, you lost to the Stanley Cup champions. Nothing to be ashamed about. Mookie Betts is in the chat. Weren't you supposed to be playing ball tonight, my man? Come on. Uh, Petrangelo. Yeah, captain two points tonight so far. Yeah, definitely. Let's see where he is on the points. Oh, he's right there at 17, so he might have 19. He could be another one, too. Who knows? Who knows? But he will, if they win, he's going to be getting the Stanley Cup. He will be presented with it, so that's cool. But, uh, yeah, damn. Crazy, crazy. So my kid had a game, and then his next league, his Bantam League, freaking had practice tonight. They called for a practice since they missed. Oh, look, it's Gronkowski, ladies and gentlemen. Gronkowski's at the game, cheering on those Bruins. O'Reilly in the corner with Bergeron, but Boomeister will pick it up, and he'll hand it off to Pyarco. Six minutes left to go here, second period, two to nothing. And it's right offside. That's offside. Way offside, Schwartz. But yeah. Mookie Betts is in the chat. Great. Super great. Oh, that's a good team, man. It's cold, though. This was earlier. How you guys doing in the chat? Who do you guys want to win tonight, guys? Who do you guys want to win? Where's uh, Water King? I haven't seen Water King yet tonight. Probably upset right now. He's probably shadow boxing in his room. All right, Coil and Sunkfist will take the draw. Sunkfist, like an orange juice. Right behind him, but he's not going to get the shot. But there's a shot from the point that's going to be blocked by Barbashev. And Barbashev trying to get the puck out camp, but there is Pyarko. Pyarko will bring it in. He comes in, takes a little snapshot. Stopped by Rask, and he's going to hold on. That's a little bit of a loose puck in his gear. But he won't give up the rebound. 544 left to go second period. You want the Blues to win? Yeah. Uh, why, Gordon? I didn't I watched CBC. I'm watching CBC tonight, but I don't have my volume up, so I don't know. What was he saying? Oh, that's right. He used to coach Boston back in the day. They're down two nothing at home, Sandra. This is yeah, it's Char is injured, but he's playing. He's got a face shield on. St. Louis' all time record in game seven is are nine and eight. That's what a stat just popped up. Shots on goal are 19 to 9 for the Bruins. Curley will win the draw. Char will pick it up for the Bruins. He's just trying to get it up to the line. Finds uh, Chari, and he's just going to chip it in deep. Petrangelo will give chase with Nordstrom. The Blues will come out with it. Gunnarsson gets it up to the half wall. Can't get it by the, the scrum that's there. And there's a Chari trying to get it back to the point. Kent, and here comes Schwartz now for the Blues in his feet. Char bumps him off. Achari now will pick it up and get it to center. And here's Tarasenko now at center. They're looking to get this puck in deep. Either team are, but they can't. But the Blues will pick it up at their own line. Petrangelo will get it to the half wall. And Tarasenko will tip it in. Rask will come out to play it. Rask will swing it across to the right side. And he's going to get it off to Nordstrom. Nordstrom will pick it up for the Blues. Swings a nice pass right across for McAvoy. Back to Curley. Finds the open man, but there's Maroon. He just steals it. There was nobody there. Jake DeBrusque. A little slow, but there's going to be a face-off. Just outside. Give me a second, guys. I got a phone call. All right. If the Blues win, glory, glory, ah. Uh. Gloria, Gloria. Yep, it will be. Come on, Blues. Boston has got enough titles. I agree, Ryan Brown. I agreed. This reminds me of Game 7 of the 2009 Finals here. Yes, Pittsburgh and Detroit, where Pittsburgh won their first Stanley Cup with Sidney Crosby. Sup, Zane. Sup, crazy. I wish that Skip Bayless would jump off a ledge. 
I don't know why. I guess he's talking about the Raptors again and being negative on Kawhi. I guess so, huh? Yeah, I got another light. I'm going to actually see if I can try to hook that up somewhere. I'm going to see if I can hook that up because it's, it's a bright light, but it's not like LED or anything, but I might actually try to hook it up. Try to, I might actually do it during uh, the second intermission. See if I can do that quickly. <clears throat> but how was your guys' day today? How was your guys' day today? You guys do anything fun and exciting? How's school going? You guys almost done for the year? My kid's got another couple of weeks, I think. Let's see. I'm looking at the calendar. His last day is on the 28th. So there is a PA day, I think, on the 28th. So the Thursday, the 27th, I think, is the last official day because they have a PA day on the 28th. So I think the 27th, that's coming up. So tomorrow will be two weeks. Yeah, so it's good. You guys excited for the summer if you guys are in school? Are you guys already in summer break? Some of you might already be in summer break already. But that means you go back early in August. Mm. Greg Berube had John Stevens? Oh, come on. Give me a second, guys. I got to turn on my son's data on his phone. Her phone died, so I got to put data on my son's phone. Give me a second. Wrap around. Ooh, Blue's almost cost one there. Krejci trying to keep that puck in. Give me a second, boys and girls. Give me a second. 4.23 left to go. All right. Let's go. Come on. Holy, we got 2.5 data left. That's crazy. And we still have two weeks to go. Bruins get it out in front. Trying to get that puck in deep. There we go. Sanford will get it to line. Kept in by the Bruins. Carlo will get it down low. Right through the crease. Nobody there for the Bruins. Back to the point for more. Wraps it around for Krejci. Krejci leaves it there for Pasternak. Gets it in the crease. Nobody there again. Carlo now will get it down low. Brad Marchand back to Carlo. Carlo looking to make it by a shot. Stopped by Bennington. Gloved and held on. 3.45 left to go, second period. Yeah. Wow, what is going on? Turn on his data, that's what I want to do. Okay. There we go. Blues lose the draw. Back to the point. Shot wide. And Sunkfist trying to get the puck out. Can't. There it is in the corner. Uh, Carlo trying to keep it in. Pinching it in. But there's Gunnarsson. We'll get it to the line. Steen will get it to the line. But kept in by the Bruins. And Bergeron had a great chance to score here. And here comes Shen now for the Blues. Braden Shen takes a little snapshot blocked by Carlo, but Shen's going to pick up the puck anyway. He falls and trips, and he's going to get it to the line. Kept in there by the Blues. Vince Dunn, and he's just going to wrap it around. Krug now will get it off the left side, and it's not going to be pushed out. Petrangelo loses his stick behind the play, and it's going to be Bozak and Pasternak getting there, but Bozak will get there first. Maroon can't handle the puck, and it's going to come up to the wall, and here comes Krug. Krug will bring it in for the Blues. He's bumped off the puck by Bozak. Bennington leaves it there for Dunn, who gets it off the wall to Blay, and he's going to get it just out. Bozak gives chase with a little bit of pressure. Maroon also there in the vicinity. Coyle will bring it back to the for McAvoy. McAvoy will bring it down low. And here comes the Blues. Oh, good stop by Bennington. That little shot that beat him in game five or six right through the armpits almost went there again. But he made the save. Well, third period is going to be interesting. Crazy mofo, that's for sure. Yep, Skip has been hitting on Kawhi again. Now he's refer referring to Kawhi as that man and that this guy. This is, oh, I hope so too, man. That would be great. Watching, listening to you and Doc. Nice. Thank you. Blues are playing better. Yes. Just the Bruins have been playing a little bit more pressure here in the second period as we go along. That's no lie. 
a little bit more pressure here in the second period. Their their backs are against it, man. They're in the final stretches of this game. Got one more period to go. They need to get more shots on goal. 21 to, wow. 25-21 are the hits for St. Louis. 229 left to go in the second period. 21 to 9. Jeez. 21 to 9. Hello, Eli. Skip mainly liked Kawhi since he was on. Yep. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, exactly. I don't understand why reporters do that. You should be unbiased and report like you mean it. Don't be biased like that. What's up, Jeremy Hansman? Heard some rumors about Corey Perry to the Oilers. Are you serious? Where did you have that? Where did you hear that? What website or where, where did you hear that? That would be interesting. But he's coming back off that ACL, so I don't know. He didn't look very good when he came back. All right, DeBras takes a shot blocked by Pareko into the corner. Kuhlman now meets Shen. Shen will come up with the loose puck, flick it up to center ice and into St. Louis or to Boston territory. Under two minutes left to go here in this second period. Hi. Hi, hi, say, Curtin. I just share your video on my Facebook pages. Thank you, Carrie. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Hopefully, we get some more people in here. Tell them to come on in. It's game seven. We're going to have a Stanley Cup champion tonight. Pasternak will get a shot on goal, steered aside by Bennington. Back to the point for Bergeron. Krug will keep it in. Marshawn now behind the net for the Bruins. Gets it into the slot. Bergeron breaks his stick. And here comes Petrangelo. Oh, no. Yes, it is. Petrangelo now in. Gets it across for Sanford. Takes a shot high and wide. O'Reilly will keep the puck in. But there is Coyle. He's going to try to get a backhand. But he's going to lose it there to Sanford. And there's David Perron. He's going to leave it for O'Reilly. who's going to wrap it around for Sanford. Sanford now bumped off the puck by Krug. They're going to do battle. There's two players on each team behind the net. Coming up on one minute left to go in the second. Sanford will leave it there for Perron. But he's not going to get it. Marshawn will flip it to center. And Sunkfist will pick it up. And Dunn will misplay it. But he's going to regain his composure. And pick it up in his own end. Nice outlet pass up the wall, tipped in by Barbashev. And there goes McAvoy and Barbashev to do battle. He's bumped off the puck, but there's the Bruins char to pick it up and gives it off to Coyle. Coyle now will come into St. Louis territory. He's just going to chip it in. And there's Johansson now with the puck for the Bruins. Johansson looking to make a move, walks the line. Here he comes, backhand, blocked in front by Barbashev. Johansson will get it back to Hyman. Hyman takes a shot, stopped by Bennington. Big rebound, McAvoy there. There's Heinen again now. With the puck, Heinen now, 22 seconds left to go in the second period. Heinen now, pressure here by the Bruins, right through the crease. Johansson will pick it up, get it sent back to the point for McAvoy. McAvoy, how on the half wall, finds Heine, uh, Nordstrom, he's just going to dump it in deep. Heinen now will pick it up. Heinen and Boomeister, but it's still there. Under 10 seconds left to go, and the Bruins are not going to get another shot on goal. As Petrangelo will, will flip it all the way down, right on to Rask. And that's the end of the second period, ladies and gentlemen. 2 nothing with 20 minutes left to go. Wow. Who's got this game? Zane? I don't know, man. Boston will come back. They they play pretty damn good in the third period. Blues are playing good, but that Boston Bruin, that last 10 minutes was all Bruins. They had a little bit more scoring chances, but Bennington came across, but he's still shutting the door down in game seven. Don't know where, but he's accordingly done in that. Yeah, I thought they were going to buy him out, if anything. I think he would be a great fit with McDavid, too. I agree, but he's up there in age, but... I don't know, maybe having an offseason where he can train and not worry about the knee, maybe he would be better. Maybe he would get a little bit more better. Plus, we could have had Corey Perry in Edmonton back in the day. The Ducks and Oilers had a trade in place. Mike Comrie was an Oiler. He signed a contract and he retracted it and he wanted to be moved. And the rumor was the Ducks and the Oilers made a trade. And Mike Comrie was going to the Ducks and coming back was Corey Perry, the draft pick. That year he got drafted. In 2005, I believe. So Corey Perry was going to be an Edmonton Oiler, but then they backed out on the trade because of the contract, and Anaheim didn't want it, so they traded him, I think, to Arizona. To Arizona. I am doing well. Last game had five third period goals, right? Anything can happen. I agree. Now let's keep the lead. Yes. Go Blues in this game. Yes. Come on, Bruins. Score in the third. I love the Blues, but I'm rooting for you. There you go. What up? KD is going to stay in Golden State. That's my thought. I was thinking that too, but there's a lot of people saying how KD might be mad at the organization for forcing him to play. I think that's what everyone's saying now is that the Warriors were trying to get him to play and he wasn't sure. But he also wanted to play too. He said he wanted to play. So I guess they're both at fault. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Plus, there's a couple of teams that are still really interested in signing him to a multi-year deal, even though he's going to be gone for most of next season, if not the whole thing. But there's a couple of teams that saying that they're willing to sign him for the max. 
Just let him rehab. I thought Golden State was going to be that team, but there's been all those reports like the, what's going on. So it's crazy. All right, guys. But yeah, guys, if you haven't hit that like button, come on, hit that like button. It's free. Let's go. And if anyone's new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, man. We're getting close to 6,900. We could possibly hit 7K tomorrow. If we can get past 6,900 tonight, I think tomorrow could be easy to get to 7K tomorrow. If not, I think we'll still get there tomorrow. Dan Patrick Show was talking about Brooklyn or Knicks. Yeah, I heard that for, uh, well, Brooklyn has been heavily interested in, in, in uh, Kyrie Irving. Beat the Bruins. 20 more minutes of lies. Lie. So you mean uh, Ken stream tonight? He has the. Is he watching the game with everyone? Or are they just talking about somebody? Or is he just actually watching the game and just talking about sports tonight? Sixty nine k. No, it's sixty nine hundred. Almost seven k. Not sixty nine. That's that would be higher than Joe Cronin, Dan. <laughs> yes, they are Alex Sports. Oh, and like it's doing the the show, but having the game on, and he just gives updates. That's cool. That's cool. Let's go Blues. Screw Boston teams. Yeah. Feel bad for those guys that made the bet, though, because those guys would have been super rich. There were two dudes that bet for all the Boston teams to win the championships this year. And they still get paid out if they get three or four. So those guys would have been making some money if Boston would have won tonight. And now I don't think they're making anything. But they had a really good chance to make some serious money because they met so much. That's all good, Dan. I know what you meant. I know what you meant. Let's go Raps. First time and first out of the U.S. Yep. That would be pretty special. And we've won three games there in Oracle this year. Two in the playoff finals and one in the regular season without Kawhi. So let's make it four games down there and let's end that stadium on a losing note. Saying who was the last team to beat them there. And then the, the trivia gods will say the Toronto Raptors won the NBA finals on their final game. In the final game at Oracle. That would be pretty special. And those Raptor fans that were booing, oh man, Raptor fans have been getting shitted, shitted on the last couple of days. But you know what? There's some fans that are actually, there was this one dude that set up a GoFundMe for Kevin Durant to donate money to that, uh, to one of his favorite charities. So that was good on him. And then there's a website saying, sorry, KD. And the true Raptor fans are signing it. And they're also taking donations for his charity as well. So good on those Raptor fans. But yeah, those Raptor fans that were booing, I... Don't care. Disgusting. But that's the initial reaction, right? But then they, they didn't see the cameras when he was actually walking back. There was a fans chanting his name. There was a, You could hear the fans chanting his name and giving him an ovation when he was leaving. Like a, a friendly clap. But, but what, those ones that were waving goodbye, not, not great, man. Not good. There's sunrise here in Czech. But today, the sun is going to play Gloria. Yes, it will. <laughs> That's right. It's, it's getting super early in the Czech Republic. Man, you're a trooper, though, Thomas. See how I feel during the World Tr Juniors whenever it's in the Czech Republic? We have to stay up super late, too. Blue's trying to make history. Yes, they are. And you must be... Are you a Blackhawks fan? Yeah, it looks like you are, Zane. You must be hating this. Because <laughs> the Blues are in the same division as the Blackhawks. What's up, Ron Don? What's... Wow. Sir Cardinal Colby saw Rocha's family. Really? Did you see number 33 waving at him when KD was hurt and laughing? Yeah, I, yeah, that was the, yeah, I did. That's not cool. That was terrible. Yeah, he was wearing a 33 jersey. I think that was uh, a Jamari Moon jersey from back in the day. I could be wrong, but yeah, that's one fan I saw. But there was a lot. There was a lot. No, no dispute about it. Just not cool. Not cool. Let's close this out. Yes, Pro Gamer. Let's end it tonight. The draft's coming up in a couple of weeks, guys. The 21st. And then free agency at the end of the month, man. It's going to be some times. I might be making solo videos of players where they sign and stuff like that for free agency. If there's any big news, I'll make a little video and say, hey, this guy's going to this team. Or if there's any trades that happen, I might just post little uploads. Here, Preds fan wouldn't mind Blues winning. There you go, Kyle. That's cool. Uh, same with me because I'm an Oilers fan. I'm from Edmonton, so I cheer for the Oilers, a Western Conference team. So... Anytime the Stanley Cup is awarded, I hope the West wins. Because I'm a Western Canadian, so I gotta support the West. Baby looking good. There you go, Ron Dunn. And then when that baby was born in nine months' time. Oh, actually, it's gonna be late because they all get the puck during or the Stanley Cup during the summer. Too bad. Just put a baby in the 
in the bowl when when Vince brings it back to your hometown, <laughs> to his hometown. Just put a baby in there and just name it Stanley. I can imagine, Elias. I can imagine. Uh, and there was also a report Raps fans were cussing out. Oh, that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. And I heard they were trash talking Aisha too in game two, I think it was. And plus, uh, I heard a fan and Golden State fan got into a fight and it was pretty brutal. So, yeah, I don't understand what these Raptor fans are doing, man. No, I know. They didn't Sandra Brown, but it was just some of them were cheering goodbye and waving. It's not cool. They didn't know the extent. They thought it was a calf, though, probably, again, but they didn't know it was the Achilles. But then the players were telling him, calm down, calm down, stop. But then when he was walking off, that's when some of them were giving a standing go and chanting his name. Okay, that's good, cool, Zane. That's a decent hockey fan right there. Aisha, Aisha. Yeah, she was uh, walking down where I work. I, I missed her. I didn't see her, but someone was telling me that she just walked by with security, so it was kind of neat to hear that. And yeah, that's a lot of a lot of people are saying that. Alex, on it parade, parade. I predict Sunday. Everyone is getting hull. Yeah, hull is yeah hull. I would imagine. <laughs> yeah, they were desperate. It was also him too. So KD wanted to play as well. Was looking for Drake. I don't know. Crazy, maybe not. But that, that's another thing. You know how Drake has been chirping with like Kevin Durant and Clay Thompson and Draymond Green? When uh, Durant was walking off, he went up to him and just put his arm around his shoulder and just said some words to him. So he's not that bad of a guy. Yeah, there, there's lots of trash talk, but that was a nice touch what Drake did. He gave some love to KD when he was walking off. Ah. Uh. He wanted to play. He had to help keep his team in that game, for sure, which he did. If he didn't, that could have been him over. You know what? Yeah, I agree. Go get him. Yep. He was respectful. Absolutely. Yeah, they were amazing at the start of that game, man. KD had 11 points in 12 minutes. Jeez, for sure. It was three for three from three-point land. But goddamn, too many three attempts, man. They took 42 threes, hit 20 of them. Imagine if that was reduced by, like, maybe 15 or, or like 10 to 15 less three-point attempts and makes game would have been over game would have been over yeah but there was a lot of NBA players pretty peeved at the Raptor fans Joel Embiid called them disgusting a lot of players man were not happy with those Toronto fans I kind of wish Katie would have said something about the Toronto fans like whatever but he didn't he just kept it professional but there's always questions I have like, to the real Raptor fans, thank you for being so polite. He is a champion. He wanted to play because he wants to win, and that's why. And there's been rumors about the team not happy he wasn't playing, like there was a rift between them, but I think DeMarcus Cousins nipped that in the butt. But there's still reports about that, saying that the players are not happy he's not he wasn't out there, which is ridiculous, but I don't know. Your least favorite team is the Preds. Yeah, I wonder why. They beat you, what, two years in a row? The last time they, they made the playoffs, I think they swept you guys as they were a two seed and you guys were you guys were a two seed and they were a seven seed or a one seed. I can't remember. That's when Nashville went to the finals against Pittsburgh a few years ago. Yeah, same with another team. There's another team apparently that's really interested in paying KD that money too. What's going on, Mr. Bad Dog 76, 76? Guys, for the best five o'clock shadow in the business... Go subscribe to Mr. Bad Dog 7676. He is a great, great guy. And he's a big time New York Knicks fan. He gave up on the Lakers because they're going to be trading his favorite player, Lonzo Ball, away. So he is now going to be cheering for the New York Knickerbockers. So welcome aboard, Mr. Bad Dog. Are you doing anything tonight, Mr. Bad Dog? Anything tonight worth fun? Are you going live at some point? Anything? Baseball? Yeah. You can't wait to collab with me again? Well, you want to come on for the third period? You want to come on for the third period? 
You'll be live with Philly later. All right, cool. What are you guys going to discuss? Giants and Eagles wars. Uh, they got a pretty strong package. Fourth overall pick. Uh, Brandon Ingram and Lonzo Ball. It's a pretty good package for Anthony Davis. They could have done that earlier, but they didn't have the fourth overall pick at that point. But yeah, it's a pretty sweet package. Golden State wins tomorrow, sir. Will you be scared? No, I won't. And if they win game seven, I'll tip my cap. That's why they're the defending champs. Giants, Eagles, Breaking Bad, and anything else. Nice, Breaking Bad. Your baby. Did you watch the whole series yet, Mr. Bad Dog? Did you finish the series? Oh, uh, what is this? Kevin Durant? Yeah, they're showing him. All right. Wow, lots of people going to California. They're showing uh, a load of Toronto Raptor fans heading to California. Yeah, you finished the series? What did you think about that ending? Wasn't that a great ending to the series? With that song? Baby Blue? Pretty special, man. Yeah. Wow, this is terrible. Laggy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I wish they would have too, Mr. Bad Dog. <clears throat> At least the Hawks got the third pick in the draft. Yeah, they should get a decent player, but you're not getting either Capo, Caco, or Jack Hughes, but still pretty decent player man and plus one of the top prospects i heard tore his achilles so he's gonna be out so wonder how far he drops now yeah yeah that was a good song man that right when that song played i was like holy hell that's an actually really good song i found it on the internet right after that show was over i was so devastated like when that like i watched that show from beginning to end and once it ended i was like very upset because i was like man I wish this would have went on more because it was a great show, man. That Those last two seasons were nail-biting, thrilling. It was so good. And that ending was just a perfect ending, man. I wish he would have survived, but he gave all that money to his family. Like, you see that big mountain of money that looked like a table? It was just absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. Ah. Uh. Yeah. I'm sure they will. They did go get a wild in game four, Sandra. They sang the national anthem after the game. It was loud. And there was one dude, well, not dude, I shouldn't say, one older gentleman. I surf him every single Raptors game. He's a great guy. He was at game four, and I saw him in the crowd singing national anthem. It was pretty cool. And then I told him about it on game five when he came back for game five. I was like, I saw you on TV singing the national anthem. He's like, oh, really? And I'm like, yeah, I saw you there. And he's like, yeah. I was like, are you going there for game six? He's like, I'm not sure yet, but I'm, he's loaded, so he probably will. He probably will. $9.2 million. Pretty insane, man. And that's kind of weird how they actually gave a number, right? That's pretty, pretty wild. And plus, he didn't have a wife for, like, majority of the seasons. Like, he was married to her for a couple of years, a couple of seasons, and they were split. But it was a great show, man. My wife said to me, you're sad it's over, aren't you? I said, hell yeah, man. I was like, oh, man. And I had to watch that episode again, like, right after. And it was just like, after that was done, I was like, oh, man. I think I still have it on my external hard drive. So I can watch it again. Like, I have all the seasons. Might want to start it again. I don't know, maybe. But, man, oh, man. I was just like, why is this over? And then, like, uh, what else was over that year? I think it was... Uh, what's that show with the bikes? God damn, with the bikes. Are you serious right now? How do I not remember this? How do I not remember this? Sons of Anarchy. That's it. Can the third start already? Right, Elias? I don't understand why it's not starting. 
This second intermission is going longer than the first intermission. Uh, Thomas Davis and Marner is going to stay in Toronto. Nobody would say. Yeah, I don't think so. But you never know. You never know. All right, I think we're getting the guys polishing the Stanley Cup. He's getting it outside of that trunk. And he's getting ready. This guy, the bearer of the Stanley Cup, is always holding it everywhere. You got his number? I wish. Yes, they're here coming up. I told her I'm going to watch the whole thing again. Good. What's up, Chiz? Orange County Choppers? Nah, it was Breaking Bad. Cause, uh, not Breaking Bad. It was uh, Sons of Anarchy. That show ended the same time as Breaking Bad, I think. Or maybe it was a season later. I can't remember. But man, oh man. Though, have you ever watched uh, Sons of Anarchy, Mr. Bad Dog? What's up, John Bennington? Jordan's father. Gronk is there. Gronkowski's getting hyped. He's he's lit. That cup is beautiful. Damn right it is. Best trophy in all sports. Yeah, it was. Richmond Hill, he was a forward before he played goalie. That is the best trophy in all sports, guys. I got to hold it. I got to hold it. Yeah, that's another good show you should watch. They also have another spinoff of it, The Mayans. That was a pretty good first season they had. That was pretty good. Just not the original. There was only one original uh, Sons of Anarchy guy from uh, the Sons of Anarchy. He was he made an appearance towards the end of the first season. But everyone else is all new guys. But it was kind of cool, that one. But yeah, Sons of Anarchy, you should watch, definitely. <laughs> all right, third period, underwear, 20 minutes left to go. Game seven, ladies and gentlemen. The Blues on the verge of winning their first championship. Let's see what happens. Let's go. All right. Who is this guy? Number 48. Don't know who it is. He just got inserted into the lineup this night. All right. Coyle now will wrap it around into St. Louis territory. Fans are trying to get these guys back in the game. Heinen now with the puck. Can't get it down low. Pinched by the defenseman who will chip it in deep. And there is Steen trying to get it out. Can't get the puck out. Bruins keep it in. But the Blues just get the puck out. All right, chip back into St. Louis territory. Bennington's just going to leave it there behind his own net. Boo, Meister will pick it up for the Blues on the left wall to Shen, who's just going to chip it in deep for Schwartz, and they wrap it all the way around, and there's Tory Krug. 40-22, to 22, the shots attempts tonight for Boston. 12-4, the giveaways. Here comes Marshawn. Nice pass to Krug. One-timer and held on by Bennington, and there's going to be a face-off deep. It's going to be electric. It's going to be electric. Phil Kessel ate hot dogs out of the cup. Yes, he did. Yeah, I actually really liked uh, the Mayans. That was really good. Yeah, underwear. It's my trademark. I use it. That's not true, though, because Grimm always says it. Let's get this match underwear. So I took it from Grimm's toy show, but I use it in my streams. All right. Carlo will keep it in. It's going to go behind the net. Gunnarsson will pick it up for the Blues off the wall. O'Reilly trying to get the puck out. Can't. Bergeron will get a shot, but he gets it blocked by the St. Louis defender. And here comes a mini 2 on one with some pressure. Perron now does a button hook, gets it around, just wraps it around deep for O'Reilly. O'Reilly now will swing it across behind the net. And Carlo will pick it up, and he's going to hand it off to Pasternak off the wall. Looking for Brad Marchand. It's going to be stolen by Pyarco, and Vince Dunn will wrap it around the net. Rask will leave it there, but nobody there. There is Sanford. Sanford now for the Blues against the wall, and here comes Boston with it. Marchand will give it off to Curley. Curley, and he lost control of it, and St. Louis will just dump it back into Boston territory. Patrick Maroon and Pasternak. And he's going to get it off to Char on the half wall. Right up to Kuhlman. Here comes Kuhlman, one on one, but he's going to lose the handle. Maroon's going to pick it up, and he's going to get it off to Blake, but Blake can't get the puck out. And Chara will keep it in. He's going to push it behind the net. Looks for the open man behind the net. There is Krejci. He's hooked, but there's no call. Wow. Back to the point for McAvoy. Takes a shot. Tipped high and wide. In behind the net is Jake DeBrusque. DeBrusque now looking to make a play. Hands it off to Kuhlman. Kuhlman now on the sidewall to Bozak. Bozak will pick it up. He's going to get it to the line. And Maroon will pick it up. And there's Sammy Blade. Loses it to Chara with that big stick. Chara is going to flip it in deep. Line changes for both teams. Bennington will play it for Edmondson, but he's going to leave it. And Steen's going to wrap it around in. And St. Louis... Can't keep the puck in, but there's Boomeister now. We'll wrap it back in. Shoots it wide into the corner. Curley will pick it up for the Boston Bruins. He's got some speed now. Goes behind the net. Comes out. 
goes up the right hand side chipped in bumped off the puck heavily but there is Johansson back to the point for Moore loses his stick and here comes a three on one partially here comes Steen back to a Sunfist takes a shot stopped by Rask rebound covered up Barbershev trying to put it back can't gets it back to the point Gunnarsson will slide it across for Petrangelo right through the crease and there's Sunfist will look to make a play back to the point no he gets the puck behind the net here comes Sunfist nice behind the back pass right through the crease nobody there Johansson's going to pick it up for the Bruins and he's going to get it off to center but pressure there by Barbashev and here comes Tarasenko busting in shot stopped by Rask rebound right to the Boston defender and he's going to get it off to center Johansson will give it off to Bergeron but Johansson's going to chip it in deep and there's Pasternak with some speed David Pasternak bumped off the puck by Gunnarsson gets it to the wall for Tarasenko comes right through the crease and there's Shen now will pick it up backhands it on the half wall can't get the puck out back to the point for Krug Krug now makes a play off the skate right through the crease nobody there Shen will pick it up and he's going to chip it to center and into Boston territory there's going to be no icing and it's going to be picked up by Krug 16 minutes left to go here third period two nothing blues Boston's got to make a stand here we go Krejci will chip it in can't get the puck to anyone Pyrick over will just wrap it around trying to get this puck up finds Pasternak at the point chipped in shot wide and here comes McAvoy toe drag into the crease right there nobody there but O'Reilly will pick it up and he's going to get the puck right to the line kept in by Coyle and O'Reilly will get it off center here comes Braun he's just going to wrap it in deep and O'Reilly will give chase Rask will leave it behind his own net Let's go blue, says Kelsey and Jasmine. How you doing? How you doing, ladies? Ladies, ladies, ladies. Charlie Coyle will give it down low to DeBrusque, who's going to wrap it around. And Coyle will give chase with Dunn. Dunn bumped off the puck, but there is Steen. will get it off to Petrangelo, who flips it to the line and just out. And Barbashev will pick up the loose puck, but that's going to be gloved ahead. But that's going to be negated with a touch by the Barbashev, who gets it back. And it's going to be brought back into the Blues territory. Dunn will pick it up for the Blues. Dunn stops behind the net makes a play on the left side gets it in deep looking for steen but he's offside and carlo will get it off to center for johansson bumped off the puck by sunfist and here comes coolman gets it down the middle for kule and he gets a shot on goal Ooh, is that a trip no i think the boston player might have tripped him up crowd is getting restless dunn will try to get this puck out edmondson can't pick it up gets it right through dunn can't get the play and it comes right to the half wall and here comes sungfist sungfist has been out there for a while just chips it in deep and maroon will give chase behind the boston that gets it out in front looking for blay and nothing will materialize there blay behind the net blay will pick it up blay looks to make a play up top for Pyarco takes a little snapshot high steered up side wraparound attempt right through the crease bozak can't get a stick on it and Blade will pick up the loose puck, gets it down low all the way around, looking for Maroon, gets it out in front, and Rask is going to say, uh-uh, cover it. Pushed out of the way, and there is a whistle. 14-17 left to go here in this third period. Still 2 to nothing Blues. This is the final game of the season, alas. You got that right. If you smash the sub and like button, badass peeps, yes. That would be awesome. That'll be awesome. Ah. <sighs> cool 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 got 32 people up in here shen loses the draw char will just chip it back for mcavoy trying to get this puck out but he can't but then Charles is going to pick it up behind his own net gets it to the wall and it's just going to get out and here comes pasternak this top line is going to probably play a lot probably every second shift and it's chipped in deep and there's marshawn will wrap it around right through the crease and jordan jordan schwartz will just chip it out down into boston territory that might be icing it will be called icing 1355 left to go you're back welcome back seriously guys how amazing wow it's a work in progress. I don't know who number 48 is, though. That's the thing. Who's 48 for the Blues? Or for the, for these guys? Let's go back. Let me see if I can find them. But I don't know who 48 is. Guy just probably got put into the lineup tonight. I have no idea. No idea. Me after hockey season over. Yeah, exactly, Kyle. I'm going to be pretty upset, but the draft is coming. I'll be live for the draft on Friday the 21st. I'm not working on the 21st. All right, Schwartz will pick it up, and he's going to get it by McAvoy. Jordan Schwartz looking to get it across, but he can't get it to the open man. Shen will just wrap it in deep, and McAvoy will get the loose puck, and he's going to be chipped to the Blues line. Pyarco now will pick it up. Line change coming for the Blues. Pyarco now up the right side, chipped in by Shen. And Rask will play on the half wall behind his net, up to the wing, looking for DeBrusque. Can't get the puck out, and the Blues... Trying to get that puck in deep. They do. Sanford is just going to let it go there. And McAvoy will pick up the loose puck. Perron bumps Krug. 
Well, O'Reilly with a little flip pass and it almost went through. Heinen gets it out, but it's picked off by O'Reilly. Gives it off to Perron. Perron now will just wrap it around deep Sanford. And this number 48 guy go behind the net. I don't know who that is. Sorry, guys. I don't know who 48 is. Chip it off to center. And Bozak's going to wrap it in deep. And there is Moore. Picks it up for the Bruins. Moore. 12.52 left to go in this game. Moore looks to make a play. Back up to center. Finds Coyle. Chips it in deep. Petrangelo there. And he's going to get it off the half hole. Gets it out. And all the way down. That could be icing against the Blues. And it is a Blues icing call. Music in my ears with this play-by-play. -play. Wow. Apparently, the Raptor fan are going after Curry's parents now. Wow, that's terrible. Blues aren't giving up. They're not giving them any good scoring chances, and they're doing the good thing. Cardinal, we need you for the entire game in the finals. I'll pay you for your time. All right, well, I'll be live tomorrow. <laughs> <coughs> Takuma. Hey. Why are the Raptor fans cursing? Like, I don't know. They're just idiot fans. Diehard Giants fan. What's going on? Thanks for coming through. Face off now in Boston ter territory. Both kicked out of the face off. Not going to lie, after listening to this NBC announcer and Sir Cardinal announce this game, NHL announcers would be paid more than any other announcer. It's really hard to keep up with these games. Yeah, it is. It's really fast. Really fast. And they know the names. I just don't know one. <laughs> but that's okay. All right. Coyle now behind the net. Looks to make a play. Tries to take a shot. He fanned on it. And Blay will pick it up for the Blues, who swings it back in deep into their own territory. Why? But there's Petrangelo will get it in. Maroon trying to chip it in, but he can't. He gets it in from center, and he backhands it. It's on the half wall, and Maroon will get it in deep, and St. Louis will make a line change. Krug now for the Bruins. Coming up on 12 minutes left to go in this third. Still 2-0 Blues in Game 7 of the Stanley Cup Finals. Pasternak comes with some, some speed. Gets it out front. Looks for Marchand. Takes a shot. Blocked. And Barbashev trying to get this puck out. Pasternak will keep it in. Bergeron throwing his weight around against Pryarko. Boomeister will now pick it up, and he's going to get it off to Steen, who's Steen trying to get this puck out. Gets it off to center, and there's Barbashev. Bouncing puck, bad ice in Boston. Barbashev looks to make a play, loses it. Marchand will pick it up, and he lost his stick. Here comes McAvoy at center into St. Louis territory. Poke checked, and Barbashev will pick up the puck, and he's going to flip it in deep. And Tarasenko is going to give chase. But there's Bergeron. We'll pick it up at center, and he's going to flip it in deep. He's uh, going to chip it in deep. St. Louis trying to get the puck back into St. Louis territory or Boston territory. They do. They just get it there. Shen can't keep the puck in, and here comes Akari. Akari looks to get it across. No, he loses the handle, but he gets it back to the point for Carlo. Takes a shot blocked in front by Shen. And here comes Akari, takes a shot, blocked, and good stop by Bennington. Oh, what a huge pad save. What a save by Bennington off a big rebound. And they keep it at 2-0 with 11 minutes left to go. Wow, what a stop by Jordan Bennington there, ladies and gentlemen. Sprawls out. And the puck just gets out. Let's go. Shen trying to get it to Perron. And he gets it back to center, and they're going to chip it in deep. Petrangelo. Carlo will pick it up. Rask will just take the job and say, give it to me. Gives it off to Crew off the half wall. Gives it off to Curley. Curley now comes out of his own territory. Looks to make a play. Chips it in deep. Line change coming for Boston. Bennington now will wrap it around for Dunn. Dunn will get it to O'Reilly, who flips it to center. And there's going to be more line changes for St. Louis. McAvoy now comes up with some speed. Charlie McAvoy gets by the defender. McAvoy comes in, takes a shot. Steered aside by Bennington. Dunn kind of get the puck. Can't get it out. Right behind the net it goes. And it finds Krejci back to the point for Crew. Takes a shot blocked in front by Dunn. And here comes the Blues, and they just chip it off to center. And Maroon's giving chase with McAvoy. 10-10 left to go. McAvoy can't handle the puck. Maroon bumps him off the puck right in front. But there's Krejci to pick up the loose puck. And he's going to find Johansson. Johansson, 51-27, the shot attempts, guys. 51, that's 51 shots on goal, or not on goal, but just attempts. Oh, right through the crease for Heinen. He can't get enough stick on that. It's into the corner, and he brings it back down low, but it's going to be picked off by Petrangelo, who gets it, chips it out, is Sammy Blay, right into St. Louis territory. Under 10 minutes left to go in this third period, guys. Under 10 minutes left to go in game seven. Until a champion is crowned and St. Louis is on their way. Boomeister will get it off to center. O'Reilly will chip it in deep. And there is Barbashev. Barbashev gets it back to the point. Barbashev can't get it back to the point. Loses it. Brad Marchand will pick it up and he is going to give it off to Heinen. Heinen will chip it in deep. Bennington stops. Can't make the play behind the net. Gives it off to Marchand. Loses it. And the Blues are trying to get this puck out. They just get it out. McAvoy will get it. There's Chara. We'll pick it up. Slap pass right into the corner. And there is the defenseman, Boomeister, trying to get it out. And Barbashev will flick it to center. And Sunkfist will go back 
And Bergeron will pick it up for the Bruins. He slips and falls. Now an odd man rush here for St. Louis. He chips it in the other way. Petrangelo will get there first. He's trying to get this puck out. Doesn't. Chara will take a shot. Tipped in by Bergeron. Didn't get it a shot on goal. Back to the point. It goes Chara with some pressure in the crease. Trying to get it to Marshawn. Can't find him. And here comes Jordan Schwartz now. And he chips it in deep. And there's Tarasenko. Tarasenko looks to make a play. Right up top. Shot scores. Look at that. Braden Shen. One-timer. And it is 3-0. Blues. With 8.35 left to go. Wow. What a play by Tarasenko. Nice cross crease pass right up the middle. And wow. But look at the save. They're showing the Biddington save. Look, he sprawls out, stretches out on Nordstrom. Beautiful save. Big time momentum. And then they chipped it in. Tarasenko beat McAvoy. And then Tarasenko right up the middle. Finds the open one-timer for Shen. Pumps it home. 3 nothing. Bruins down three with under 10 minutes left to go, man. This is absolutely awesome. Beautiful. Bruins are tired. Everyone's got to play through their tiredness, man. All right, 8.30 left to go in this game. Bruins got to do it. When they score three-plus goals, they're 11-3. and three. I can't talk, man. Yes. Uh, yeah, bye. Uh, the Blues are winning 3-0, bud. Oh, my God. You just hung up on me. Why? All right, cool. Wrapped around. Rask will leave it there. Sorry, guys. Kid just called me. He's done his practice. Yeah, they wasted a lot of energy. Now they got to have some extra energy. Smell those smelling salts. All right, here comes Pasternak. Pasternak in. Nice move. Pasternak shot stopped by Bennington. Rebound right to Gunnarsson. And he's going to chip it off the wall and gets it past the defender. And Barbashev's going to give chase, but that's going to be icing against the Blues. 7.49 left to go. What is going on, Bennington, man? That was a huge save, guys. Wow. So good. But I will be staying live after this game's over, guys. I will be staying live. So if you guys want to hang out some more, watch the presentation. Guys, if you guys have this game on your TV, watch it with me because I will be staying live. I'll be announcing the Conn Smythe Trophy winner as the player MVP of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Like I said, I have Bennington or O'Reilly, or and I'm going to lean towards Bennington. Yes, they do. Shots on goal are 29 to 16 for the Bruins. They've had 50 plus attempts, but they were either blocked or shot wide. So that, that's why that comes up with 50 plus. Bennington now will shoot it up off the half wall, gets it to the line, kept in by McAvoy, but it's going to be picked off, but it's going to go right back to center. Number 48 for the Bruins will pick it up. There's Bergeron, mini two on one. Bergeron takes a shot high, steered aside by Bennington, or maybe it just missed the net completely. But there's Marshawn. We'll leave it for passing that. Petrangelo will get there. Petrangelo will get it off the wall. Then Schwartz will tip it down. But that might be another icing call. And it is against the Blues. 7.23 left to go. I don't care if I'm 20 seconds behind, man. I don't care if I'm 20 seconds behind. It's YouTube as well. You got to realize that, Jeremy. I thought we knew that. We thought we just we discussed that back in the day. YouTube's also delayed. This game might be delayed on my end. But hey, nothing I can do. <coughs> Who do I think wins tomorrow? That's a silly question. You should know who I think, who I want. Nice, Stephen Pope. Face off one by the Blues, but Bennington's going to hold on again. So many icing calls, yeah. <laughs> Blues looking good. Seven minutes away, yeah. 719 left to go. This is crazy, guys. <sighs> This is crazy. Open the calls. I'm going to call. I'm not going to open up the call, Stephen Pope. We're just going to hang out and watch. Look at the Blues fans at Bush Stadium. It's get. Oh, it's not raining no more. Not really. But yeah, they're going. This is what the Raptors needed to do. Have their arena filled with Raptor fans watching it inside their arena for game six tomorrow. They should have had it. Ah. You've been saying that you're a pro against Toronto. We get it, Iverson. You keep repeating yourself over and over and over and over and over again. ESAP V. Uh, no. When were you here last? Diehard Giants fan. Awesome play calling, bro. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. I work hard at hockey. It's my passion. It's more bigger than basketball for me, believe it or not. I follow this a little bit more. 
But I guess basketball is where all the viewers come from. This game ain't over. You're right. Three nothing is the biggest lead is the biggest lead blunder in hockey. The three goal lead. So you never know. You're right. Uh, P B block Y B. I've watched every stream, but I changed my username. Okay, that's the thing. Why I don't remember that name, man. P block. Okay. The St. Louis always has bad weather. Yeah, well, it's right in the Midwest. Yeah, Bennington, man. He might win the Con Smythe, Connor. Bennington might win the Con Smythe. Trent says it's so over. <laughs> this is really funny to listen to. Well, thanks, James. Guys, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I'll be live for the Raptors and Warriors tomorrow if you like some basketball. But hockey's my passion and my favorite, but the viewers don't really come to my streams. What's all good, though? Last year was better, but that's okay. Let's get me close to 6,900 subscribers. We're 14 away, man. We're 14 away. We can do this. Sorry, game over. Well, two RBI double for Chance Cisco. O still trail the Jays 8-4. Nice. I know the bases were loaded. Is that Chris Pronger? Yeah, Chris Pronger, former Blues defenseman. Now is he working for St. Louis? I guess so. All right, steer aside by Bennington, but there's DeBrusque. We'll pick up the loose puck. Coming up on seven minutes left to go in this third period. Perron will get it to center, and down it goes. Krug will pick up the puck for the Blue, uh, for the Bruins. Tory Krug now has got to make a play quickly. They're down 3 nothing. Krug will come up and hand it off to McAvoy. McAvoy will come into St. Louis territory. Slides it across for Krejci. Krejci back to the point for Krug. Takes a shot. Glove saved by Bennington, and they hangs on. 6.50 left to go. Hockey is the best. I got you. Well, thanks, James. Weren't you here before, though? I remember that last name, Chegnon. I'm back, boys. There you go. What a beautiful glove save it was. Yeah, I said in six, man. But their road record during the playoffs, guys, was very good during the playoffs. Their home record was six and seven during the playoffs. Losing record during the playoffs. That's unheard of. Usually teams play great at home and struggle on the road or be close to 500. This is a different team, mind you. This is weird, man. They don't have the best record. They have probably the best record. No, they don't. It was Tampa Bay, Calgary. Uh, but St. Louis had a great sec uh, right after Christmas break. They had a great showing. They were dead last in the NHL during the Christmas break. They came back. They became one of the best. And it's going to be flipped in, chipped in deep. Sunkfist will go after it with Krug. Krug is going to wrap it around. Finds Bergeron. Gets it up to the wing for Pasternak. Pasternak looks for Marshawn. Can't get them in the puck. And Barbashev's going to flip it up, but he can't get it out. Pasternak will get it there, but it's kept in by Krejci. We'll get it down low for Pasternak. Slides it through the crease. Oh, just missed the net. Krejci now will find Pasternak. Shot. Ooh. Fanned on the one-timer. And, ooh, number 48 fans on that pass. But Bergeron will pick it up. They got their more scorers out now for the Bruins in the final six minutes here. They're stacking their lines. Krejci now will slide it across for... Riz who? Anyway, pass or knock in deep. Marchand will try to keep it in. And Sunkfist is going to get it to the line and just out. Krejci will pick it up. They got like a forward playing defense here, guys. Krejci will get it up the middle for Coyle. Coyle now will come busting in. Coyle, wraparound attempt right through the crease. Nobody there, and it comes all the way back into Boston territory. Your stash is pretty sick, too. Well, thanks, James. It definitely is. It's a playoff stash. Let's go. All right, yo, Joe Hansen will try to get it down low, but Vince Dunn's going to pick it up. Vince Dunn's cousin's in the chat. If he's still here, he might be having a baby tonight. Just saying. He comes in. Shen takes a shot. Stopped by Rask. Rebound goes to the corner, and Krug will pick it up and flip it to the line. Can't get it out. Bad pass. Krug gives it right to Schwartz. Schwartz down low. Bozak looks for the tip. Can't get it there, and it's going to be kept in there by O'Reilly. Finds Bozak. Bozak goes behind the net. Krug will leave it there for for DeBrusque. Coming up on five minutes left to go in this game. Five minutes and counting until this Stanley Cup is going to be awarded. DeBrusque gets it to the line. Heinen just chips it to center. Boomeister will get it off to O'Reilly. Finds Perron. Perron gets it back. No, he's just going to go with it into the corner. Perron comes busting in. Nice cross. He's past scores. Sanford. What a cross. crease pass by Perron. It's 4 nothing. For nothing. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. This is it. Wow. What a play by David Perron. 
Bush Stadium's rocking. St. Louis's stadium's going crazy. Holy damn, man. Look at that cross crease pass, man. David Perron finds Sanford right in the slot. What a play, right on the doorstep. Look at that. Krejci had no chance. Kuhlman, no chance to get back and back check. And Sanford buries it. It is over. As Vince Carter would say, it is over. Congrats to the Blues. I'm not going to quite say that yet until the end, man. But hey, wow. Boston. Going to look at the crowd. They're starting to leave. Those guys are pissed. I hope there's I hope there are no fighting in there, man. I hope they're not fighting. All right, Barbershev will get it down low and Sunfist will go behind the net, but they're not going to go for it really. Coming up on 4 minutes left to go in this game. This could be the longest 4 minutes of all time. Hey, it doesn't matter, crazy. It's a, in now. Oh, another play looked like it was going to be the same type of play. Shen almost pumped one or Steen, and then O'Reilly takes a quick snapshot, but stopped by Rask. And the faceoff will come in deep in Boston territory. It's in Boston. It is zinc. Absolutely crazy, man. Wow. This is crazy. Absolutely crazy. Blues are very close. Let him enjoy it. Crazy mofo, let him enjoy it. It is in Boston, my friend. It is in Boston. Yeah, they're going to fight themselves. Probably pro gamer. <laughs> Sounds like the wind opened up my door because I can hear the music. Guys, make sure you guys spike that like. Let's go. We got 43 people in here. Spike the like if you haven't already. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. We're close to 6,900. Let's get to 6,900 tonight if we can. Anyone that hasn't and wants to, please do. Tomorrow will be a good night. Game six of the NBA Finals. That'll be live tomorrow at about 8.15, 8.30-ish maybe. 8.45 pushing it. Then we'll be live for game six of the NBA Finals tomorrow. With a chance for the Raptors to close out shop down in Oracle Arena. If not, we could possibly get to 7K tomorrow night. But let's get closer tonight so we don't have to work too much tomorrow. Really wish the Leafs could make it past the first round, but my Raptors about to win. Well, we'll find out, Zink. And yeah, you're a Leaf fan. What about Tyler Bozak there, Zink? He leaves and signs a free agent contract with the St. Louis Blues. And in his first season as a Blue... He's going to win a Stanley Cup before the Leafs do. How crazy is that? If the Raptors win tomorrow, I'm going to be the happiest man alive. I bet you will be. I will be too. I don't know anything about Australian football, my friend. I have no idea. Sarah's uh, been talking about the Blues forever with the Pittsburgh Penguins. Colby, I know, is a Blues fan. He's been talking about them every time I do hockey streams. It's a great sport. My team calling with Maple Greg lost 74 70. Okay, wow. I heard I'm just about to pay mate. Thanks. Nice. All right. Boston gets a putt. Stop by Bennington. Are they empty net? Yeah, Boston has an empty net here, ladies and gentlemen. Yep. Empty net with 340 left to go. Pasternak will get it in deep, and there is Barbershop or Boomeister. But DeBrusque keeps it in. Sunkfist now will try to get it to Barbashev, and he does. And Barbashev will get it up to the right side looking for Steen, but there is Heinen. Heinen now will pick up the puck for... And they're not going forward. They're going back. But here comes David Krejci now. Krejci at center loses the handle, but gets it in deep for Johansson. And Sunkfist is going to backhand it. Can't get the puck out. Johansson will take a little snapshot gloved by Bennington. And a faceoff deep in St. Louis territory with 3.10 left to go. Rask MVP? No. Okay, that's like real football. Yeah, I wonder how Boston's going to react tonight outside. I think they'll be okay. Task Shirley, Rask Shirley MVP? Nah. Jordan Bennington, man. Rookie goalie. What do they do with uh, Jake Allen? Do they try to trade him in the offseason? They might. 
He's going to get a cup, though, regardless. Pyarko trying to get it off the wall. Perron can't get the puck out. O'Reilly on the sidewall. Pyarko will pick it up, and he's going to backhand it in for Boomeister, but he can't get the puck. Johansson Corlo takes a shot, and it's going to be wide. Krejci now at the point. 2.54 left to go. Wraps it around for Heinen. Heinen now looking to make a play. Heinen loses the handle, bar, and it's going to be out. Krejci now will pick it up for the Bruins, and Krug will pick it up on the other side. Krug back to Krejci. Right, Cheech trying to chip that in, and it goes off the St. Louis guy back to Krug at the in his own end. Krug's going to wrap it around in deep. Bennington will leave it there and won't come out. And St. Louis will come out, and he's going to flip it all the way down. Nice weight to that, ladies and gentlemen. And Krug will pick it up. 2.23 left to go. Krug now will come in. Krug right up the ball. DeBrusque gets it back to Krejcic. Krejcic. Right to the crease. Looks for the shot. Scores. Top shelf. Ooh, it's 4-1. 4-1. He broke the shutout. I don't know that guy's name. Grizzella? I don't know. Who's got that? Let's see. It'll pop up. That's the guy I didn't know who scored. And he, of course, he has a score. A pointless goal. Yeah. But that's all good, man. It's all good. 4-1. Matt Grizzlick. Grizzlick. Alichik? I don't know. Grizzlick. Okay, Grizzlick's his name. They're not. Of course not. They're going to go right back at it. <laughs> yeah, smash the lake. They got the extra attacker. That's where they, he was out there for a while, Connor Burke. 1750. We got two. We got a, under two minutes left to go. And there's like just a scrum in front of St. Louis's bench. Too little, too late, Sandra. Yep. Two more minutes. 145 left to go. And here comes DeBrusque. DeBrusque is going to come into St. Louis territory, looking to get it back to the point. No, he's just going to wrap it around. Bergeron trying to get it to the other side for Pasternak. Back to the point. Rizlik slides it across for McAvoy. Looks for the cross crease. Nice shot, but it's going to be blocked by Boomeister and David Perron trying to get this puck out. Kent. Grizzlick will keep it in, and it's going to be blocked. Steered aside by Boomeister. Bozak trying to get the puck out. Can't get it out. And there's Marshawn. Now they finally get it out. And that's going to right for the open net. And just wide. Icing with 114 left to go in this third period. The guy who kept the puck on the board is the MVP. <laughs> Alan Fishent. Yeah, Alien Fishent. Go Toronto, but... They're not in the Stanley... Oh, you mean Raptors. <laughs> well, we got a Stanley Cup champion tonight there, Alien Fish. We have a Stanley Cup presentation here. It looks like the St. Louis Blues are going to win the 2019 Stanley Cup Finals. We got a, over a minute left to go, and they're up 4-1. to one. And the Bruins are going to go down in their home barn. They lost three games in this series in Boston during the Stanley Cup Finals. The Blues went 3-1. and one. Went 3-1. and one. In the finals on Boston home ice. And the crowd is start, oh, they're starting to put a little pitcher in pitcher here, ladies and gentlemen. A pitcher in pitcher showing the St. Louis bench. Go Toronto Raptors, go Blues, go LA Chargers, and go Collingwood. There you go. We got this. The Blues are all excited, man. There's no smiles yet. There might be a couple. There might be a couple on the bench right now. I thought I saw one guy smiling there. Yeah, there. we got a little bit of smirk. Patrick Maroon, too, man. First year in St. Louis. He's going to get a cup. He was on the Oilers, and he's going to get one before the Oilers do, so that's kind of good for him. Go Ted Irvin. Yeah, Chris Jericho's dad. Exactly. Krug is going to slide it back to the point. 35 seconds left to go. Marchand takes a little snapshot. Tipped by Pasternak, but wide. And that's going to be around the net. Marchand will pick it up for the Bruins. Back to the point, and they can't get it there. And it's going to be chipped out. And the Blues are starting to celebrate on the bench, ladies and gentlemen. Take it home, Jim Houston. Take it home. This is great. Oh, kick save and a beauty by Shen. Goes into the corner. Under 10 seconds left to go, ladies and gentlemen. And the St. Louis Blues, for the first time in their history, are going to be Stanley Cup champions. St. Louis Blues, baby, are Stanley Cup champions. Unbelievable. Taking three games on Boston's home ice. 
Unbelievable. And there's the girl who has leukemia. She flew. They flew her here in Boston to watch this game. They brought her here. And she gets to witness her team win a Stanley Cup. First time for anything, I guess. You got that right, Ricky. Phone is Oppo F11. Cool, Renzo. They were the better team. They were road warriors, ladies and gentlemen. They were road warriors. Congratulations, St. Louis Blues. Congratulations, man. From worst in the NHL at the Christmas break, come back, go on a tear, get in the playoffs, and win the Stanley Cup. What a turnaround this team made during the regular season. And Jordan Binnington made his debut after Christmas. They go on a tear. He is a rookie. He's going to win a Stanley Cup in his very first year. This could be like a Matt Murray situation, but not really because I don't know if the Blues are going to repeat, but you never know. But anyway, a rookie goalie leads his team to a Stanley Cup. Patrick Waugh was the last goalie to do that in 1986, guys. 1986. As Patrick Waugh came on midway through because their goalies were both hurt in Montreal in 1986. Chara was there starting the handshakes. Beautiful, classy. Chara is a great captain, man. He is a great captain, man. No doubt about it. But yeah, Patrick Waugh gets Montreal to the playoffs and wins the Stanley Cup just like Bennington. Exact same story, man. Except for Allen wasn't hurt. They just wanted to call him up because... Allen was struggling at that point. They were the worst teams. Ah, uh, diehard Giant fan. I don't blame him, man. I hear it, man. Bennington, man. This guy's my pick to win Conn Smythe. That's the MVP of the NHL playoffs, man. Yeah, Kobe's probably pumped. Sarah Small, I know. Small. This is great for their fans because these guys are actually people from Missouri. These guys have been talking in my streams. Every hockey game I did this year, these two were talking about the Blues. Sarah said more about Pittsburgh and St. Louis in my streams. And uh, Kobe, since I met him, it's been all Blues. So congratulations to those two fans, man. Congrats to those two fans. Because they've been here during the regular season, during my hockey streams, and it's been all Blues for them. Kobe is definitely not a bandwagon fan. He's been saying blues since I've met him. Sarah, since I've known her. You're making a video. Good stuff, man. Take this. Blues won the cup, Lee. Okay, cool. Blues won the cup. Hey, watch the screen. Well, kind of can't when I can't even walk. Okay, here, well, okay. Right? Good stuff. Get rid of that. Uh, no, clean up. Anyway. Yeah, I will. But they're doing the handshakes, guys. Hi, another Boston team gives another way a tie. Yeah, Chris. Looks like it, huh? It looks like it. Yep. For the Blues time in their history, man. Congrats to the Blues, man. Big time. Big time, man. From the season they were having to coming out and winning Lord Stanley's Cup, man. Unbelievable. And the Blues get the revenge on the Bruins as the Bruins beat them back in 1971. And the Boston fans are clapping for the Bruins as they're leaving the ice. It's all good, man. Super Bowl revenge of sort. Ah, uh, I want to say compared to the football because they did meet in the Stanley Cup Finals back in the seventies, early seventies, and the Bruins swept them. But yeah, so that's good. Uh, the waifu? What's that? What's that? From last in the NHL. Yep. They were last in the NHL at the Christmas break. And Ryan O'Reilly gets his first career Stanley Cup. He had nine points in the final. So he could be a strong candidate for the Conn Smythe. Oh, let me, let me just want to see this quickly. I think he cursed. I think he just cursed. Whoa. Let me hear it again. (laughs) 
thought we were gonna get fucking get it. I love it. Yeah, he's like, I've heard that before. I've heard that before. The you know uh, the guy interviewing. That's guy. We fucking got it. Yes. Hello, Sports Fury. You you just missed it, man. You just missed it. Congrats to the Blues. Yes. Well, maybe you were here. Maybe you were just ghosting. But yeah, the Blues are Stanley Cup champions. Josh, unbelievable. Or Sean. I don't know. Could be Sean. He could be lurking. Could be Sean. Oh, that was great. Yeah, Ryan O'Reilly just dropped the F bomb during an interview. Love it. That was great. Yep. Yeah, go party it up, man. <clears throat> Good stuff, guys. We're just going to wait for the Con Smythe trophy. I'm going to stay live here, guys. I am going to stay live until they pass this cup around for a little bit. And why are they doing Windows updates on my PC right now? I don't want it done now. God damn. But yes, just tuned in from work and saw the scoreboard. There you go. Yeah, they just ended the game about five minutes ago, Josh. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. So another year has come to an end in the NHL. Now the longest part of this offseason is this draft. It's another two weeks away. And then free agency starts at the uh, July 1st. And then we'll see what happens. And then it's going to be a long break. I hate when the hockey season ends, man. But we still got the NBA. We still have the NBA for at least one more sleep because it's going to be over tomorrow. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, mine's, why is it updating? Thank God they didn't ask me to reboot or just start doing it. All right, their presentation. All right, most valuable player, the Con Smythe Trophy is coming out now. Bruins should sign Matt, Billy Madison, yeah. Next year is the Leafs time, yeah. Bozak gets a cup before the Leafs. How about that, guys, Toronto fans? Tyler Bozak. Oh, the crowd is booing all the St. Louis players. All right, Gary. Oh, never mind. They're booing the commissioner. Never mind. Kyle Iron Smythe Trophy is awarded to the most valuable player in the playoffs. This player is uh, leading scorer. That is Ryan O'Reilly. Ryan O'Reilly is the Con Smythe Trophy winner for 2019. St. Louis's Ryan O'Reilly is the MVP of the playoffs, guys. Uh, you know what? I'm not sure. I don't think they do, because if there was, there could have been, like, some vehicle on the ice, but there is no vehicle on the ice right now. But uh, I, I don't really recall if he gets anything extra. They do during the All-Star game, which is weird, though. It'll be Game 7, mark my words. Uh... Riley, yeah, but O'Reilly had a really big monster Stanley Cup final, and he was tied for points in the playoffs, and he had nine in the final. So that's a good choice. But Bennington, man, that was my pick. That was my pick. And the fans are chanting, we want the cup. We hear it in the crowd. Yeah, you're a fridge magnet. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, well, it, it's a good choice, man. No matter what, that's a great choice. Ryan O'Reilly was a beast during the uh, NHL Finals, Stanley Cup Finals. He was a beast. Nine points in seven games. That's pretty damn good. It's hard to do, man. And here comes the Stanley Cup now. And here it comes. There it is. Just like how it looks on my screen right now. Nice and shiny. They polished that some bitch for the last hour, getting it look pristine. It is absolutely beautiful. The best trophy in all of sports. Professional sports. The hardest trophy to win. You have to go through four rounds to win this bad boy. Blood, sweat, and tears. Happy moments. Sad moments. Overcome adversity to win this cup. It is the most hardest trophy to win in all of professional sports. And these guys play hurt. Zidane, Zidane O'Char breaks his jaw in game three. Game four. And he comes back and plays in game five. These guys are true beasts. I have, Zane. I have. Unbelievable. And the coach was an interim coach, guys. Craig Berube was a f enforcer in his playing days. Becomes a coach, interim, 
and he leads his team to a Stanley Cup championship. He is no longer interim GM. He is now officially the head coach going into next season and beyond. And there is Alex Petrangelo getting the Stanley Cup from Gary Bettman, the captain for the St. Louis Blues. And there it is. Fireworks, too. What the hell? Looks like Bill Goldberg right there. That's a first. I haven't seen that. Looks like Goldberg's going to come out here. Got to play his theme music here pretty soon. Looks like Goldberg standing in the middle of those little sparklies and Alex Petrolangelo's jubilation in his face. There we go. Who's going to get it first? And it's going to go to Jay Bo, Jay Boomeister, the longest serving player on the Blues roster, wins his first Stanley Cup, ladies and gentlemen. And he gives it off to Alex Dean, another former Leaf, gets the Stanley Cup. And he's going to hand it off to his next guy, and that's going to be, who is that? Number 22, Thorburn. Wow. He played for the Jets last year. He didn't play in this playoffs. Chris Thorburn. Wow. That's awesome. Yeah, j said the F-bomb. They all do. Next player gets it is David Perron. Wins his first Stanley Cup. Had a chance last year with Vegas. Now he gets it. Gonna hand it off now. Who's that? O'Reilly. There it is. Yeah. More F-bombs by Ryan O'Reilly. That's right. Th two of them. <laughs> and Tarasenko now will receive the trophy. That is beautiful. Vladimir Tarasenko holds it up proud. Beautiful. Congratulations to Vladimir Tarasenko in his first Stanley Cup. And there's Tyler Bozak now. Wow. Tyler Bozak wins a Stanley Cup. A lot of first-time champions here. Yo. Yes. Tomorrow I might have to, um, Joe wants me to bring him home early from school. All right, well, we could talk in a bit here. I'm almost done. He doesn't want him hurt at recess. He needs him catching. Okay, well, I'll be talking to you shortly. All right, there's Patrick Maroon. And he has to go to Bloordale. Patrick Maroon, his first Stanley Cup. Yeah, they, they just go crazy, Josh. They go crazy. There's no chill. And the guy did it during the interview when he was getting interviewed before the Conn Smythe Trophy, so... <laughs> It's great. Hockey players just drop those F-bombs. They probably just do it all the time, man. Yo, you can actually hear it on the ice sometimes. But that's great, man. Gunnarsson. I think there's a... I don't know if there, how many t uh, players actually have multiple championships. I don't think v many do. I wonder who's gotten multiple. I think a lot of them are first-time champions. Oh, Bortuzzo might be one that has a couple with Pittsburgh. He might have a couple. This might be his third, actually. Might be three. Might be three for Bortuzzo. It's about 40 pounds, maybe, I think. I'm pretty sure it's like 40 pounds. Woo! Payarco. Pareco? Pareco, yes. St. Alberto. He's from my hometown, basically. Just outside of Edmonton. Not even outside. It's still considered Edmonton, but they call it the district St. Albert. And there's Jordan Biddington. The rookie goalie holding the cup up high, Jordan Binnington. Most active player with most Stanley Cup chips. Uh, it's probably someone from the 50s and eras. I think Henry Richard had like eight as a player, I think. Yeah, it's pretty... Let me just take a look. I could be wrong. I'm going to Google it right now for you. I could be wrong, but it's something heavy. Um, Stanley Cup weight. Uh, it is 34.5 pounds. So it's just under 40 pounds. 30, 35 pounds about. Oh, Fabry. He, he, yeah, that's, wow. Dante Fabry, I remember. He had a torn ACL or something at the beginning of the year. Look at that. This girl's celebrating. She is celebrating. It is. Zeta, you're right. Beautiful stuff, man. I am happy. Yeah. Well, last time Boston won the championship for NHL was 2011 against Vancouver. So that was eight years ago. And I wouldn't have mind if they would have won, even though they won one eight years ago. They haven't been to the finals since 2011. 
but St. Louis has never won a championship, so that's great. They went to the finals in 1970. They lost to these Bruins 4 nothing. But if Boston would have won, I would have been, okay, that's cool. But the city of Boston gets another title. That's why people are against them, because Boston wins a lot of titles already. They're called the City of Champions, which is a knock on my hometown team, because they have that slogan, the City of Champions, but Boston now recently has claimed it. So that's not good. Yeah, 13 kilograms. It's a little over 15. 15 kilograms, about 15 and a half kilograms. 35 pounds. Yes, they were, Connor. They were the worst team in the NHL at the Christmas break. Sammy Blay. We see first-time champions today and may see that again tomorrow. But that's quite pot. Let's foreshadow, Josh. Let's foreshadow. And then both seasons will be over in a blink of an eye. That would be crazy. This could be a little bit of foreshadowing. It seems when the Bruins won last game, Golden State won. So every time St. Louis wins, the Raptors end up winning. So let's let's continue that, shall we, tomorrow night? Let's do that. It seems like that's true. Every time St. Louis wins a game, the next game for basketball, the Raptors end up winning. Definitely what a week in sports. And then in a slow... But a couple weeks time, we have the drafts on back-to-back -back nights. Jordan Nolan, wow. Native American here in Canada, Ojibwe Nation. Uh, Talon's and Mum's background is Ojibwe Nation. And Jordan Nolan wins the Stanley Cup. Wow, but he won one with uh, the Kings too. So I think he's got like two or three now. But uh, yeah, the draft for the NBA is on the 20th. And the NHL drafts the very next day on the Friday on the 21st. So the drafts are going to be happening on back-to-back -back nights. And there is that Brett Hall? No, that's Baruby. Cool. Well, yeah, the drafts will be coming up back-to-back. -back, so that's pretty damn cool. Pretty damn cool. And then free agency starts on the same day where we'll find out uh, who's going where. Plus, there's going to be able to be trades be made now. So I guess unrestricted free agents, their rights can be dealt to a team. And most of the time when that happens, ladies and gentlemen, in the NHL in particular, once there's a trade for an unrestricted free agent, that player usually signs with that team that trades for him. So they usually give up like a seventh round pick, sixth round pick, and that player usually signs with the team. So we're going to get some activity here in the next week or two uh, with players trying to go to, uh, no, they'll go to new teams, their rights will go to the team, and then they usually sign. So we'll see. That's always a fun thing with NHL. Usually players get traded their rights and they end up re-signing with that team that they get traded to so that's pretty cool yeah 20th and 21st josh yep third overall pick the blackhawks got the third pick uh what is that go get a i'm old i don't know what that is that's that's the fun thing about the, the nhl a lot of trades are going to be coming up with free agents their rights will be dealt there we go the owner Holding that trophy up high. Good stuff. Oh, uh, the Penguins? I don't mind them. Take care, Dan Rex. Thanks for coming in, man. I was just happy Crosby got a cup. He's got three, so yeah. Shen. Braden Shen. Yep. From L.A. to Philadelphia. Or from Philadelphia to L.A. And then... Went to St. Louis. Crazy. What's up, CC? Nice. Oh, wow. Is he from Missouri, though, Jason Tatum? Is he from... <laughs> is he from Missouri? Ouch, that's tough. Uh, I will be doing the draft on... The Friday, yes. The first round anyway. Just the first round. Because it takes forever. It's like a three-hour freaking uh, first round. It has coffee in it. It has... Oh, okay. <laughs> Toes has three... Taves. Jonathan Taves has three cups. Yep. I'm doing all right. How are you? I think it's a little upset because of the Bruins had the home... Yeah. But they lost three of four games on home ice during this final. Three of four games. That's pretty crazy. Boston loses, America and Canada win. Well, I don't know about that. Another American team, yes. He's from Missouri? Wow, there you go. 
There you go. Yeah, it's pretty long, Josh. It's pretty long. And I just sit there and I just react, watch the drafts and just listen to see if there's any trades. Because there usually there's like usually a big, big trade at the draft during the first round. Maybe there might be a couple this year, but there's usually a trade that they announce during the draft and teams move up and stuff like that. So it's kind of cool. But uh, prospects, I know a few of them this year. I might be able to talk a little bit more about them this year. So that's kind of cool. But I just sit there and I just watch. That's it. And I just let people know what's going on. That's about it. I did it last year. It's pretty decent. Might be better this time. I was going to do the NBA one, but unfortunately I got to work the Blue Jays. Maybe he tells me not to come in. If he does, then maybe I'll be covering it as well. But if not, I'll be missing the NBA draft. And I really wanted to watch that draft too. Maybe I'll be back in time to watch the, the second round, if anything. Yeah, but he's not in this Stanley Cup final, Jeremy. You just got off work? Cool. Yes, I should be. And we got a police car driving by. Sounds like that one is definitely a police car. Bennington won the Blues this game tonight. Yeah, he made that huge toe save, man. The sprawling pad save right at the toe. Huge. What tweet? I guess uh, Tatum congratulated the Blues. St. Louis forever because I guess he's from Missouri. So he was happy that his state won an NHL championship. But yeah, he plays for the Celtics. But yet the Bruins are in the same building. So yeah, that's why fans are upset with him, I guess. I'm sure they will, Josh. I'm sure they will. Uh, right now, the projected pick is Alex Turcott, And he was he jumped up heavily in the last rankings. He was eighth. Ranked eighth at the midway point in final rankings, he jumped up to three. He's a really good player. So if you get Alex Turcott, that's going to be a huge pickup center. Uh, the Blues won the cup, Junior. Don't touch the green screen if you're coming in here, please. And there's the classic team photo with the cup. And that started off in 1990 with the Edmonton Oilers doing that with the trophy. That's tradition now since 1990. Don't touch the green screen, I said. Thank you. It's all, it's kind of, is your mom calling you? No. I'm hoping to. But yeah, Alex Turcott. What's up, Nick Howard? Remember, 3M. Remember how everyone said Bozak isn't going to help him? Yeah, and he got a cut before the Leafs did. Well, that's kind of cool. I'm happy for Bozak. Let's go, Blues. What's up, Tim? 8 Oh yeah. Congratulations if you're a Blues fan. Looks like you are. What that mean? Uh, is there a reason why that lights off? Do you have a seriously hearing problem whenever you leave the room? I wish you would just listen for once, kiddo. All right, you take care, CC. I'm just seriously, the kid does not listen. Well, yeah, that's about it, guys. That's about it. The presentation is over with the cup. Everyone's got a chance with the cup on Boston Ice, and they took the team photo. And everyone now is probably going to go back and party up like it's 1984. Take it easy, CC. But yeah, that's about it, guys. That's about it. Glory, Gloria. 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 And they're playing that song now. Of course they are. Well, the broadcasters were CBC. Got a little bit in the background. Do, 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 do. Great skating out there, pal. Wow, what was that? Yeah. Got the glory, glory. Why are you naming players with all the Stanley Cups for, Jeremy? Yeah, Gloria. Do, do, do. Do, do. Raptors and six. They better not let me down. Oh, relax, Sandra. You you get yourself too pressured. Just let the game develop. But yes, that's beautiful, guys. That's beautiful. Well, another season down. Already looking forward to the draft, free agency. But another season has come to a close in the NHL. Congratulations to the St. Louis Blues organization for their first ever Stanley Cup win tonight in Boston. So that was pretty damn special, guys. I thank you guys all for hanging out with me tonight. It was a lot of fun. 
I am going to wrap this up. I'm going to get ready for tomorrow's stream, most likely for NBA tomorrow, game six. But thank you for hanging out. Maybe, maybe, maybe we'll do some some video games tonight. I don't know what, what's going to happen. Maybe somebody will stream later. I don't know. Maybe I will too if we get enough people to play some games this evening. But yes, guys, thank you for hanging out. I will see you guys tomorrow. Two sweets to everybody in the chat. And that's going to be it for me, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you tomorrow night about 8.30, 8.45. I'm not sure yet. You guys have a good night, and thanks for watching. Cardinal, out. Bye-bye, everybody. Thanks for watching. See you soon.